My first guest tonight is a terrific actor. Uh, please welcome the lovely and adorable Alfred Molina. Everybody, Alfred Molina. How are you? I'm very well. Really? Very, well. very nice to be back. Very well, it's nice. very nice to have you back. What have you been up to? Litter bug. Oh, yeah, that's all right. I, I actually, it looks very cool. I throw it away, yeah. and then during the commercial break, I have to tidy it up. <laughs> you don't you have someone who goes back No, there. no, this isn't real television. I have to go out and actually do it myself. <laughs> do you, uh, did you have a nice Father's Day? I had a very nice Father's Day. Yeah. Um, uh, my, my stepson sent me a very nice message, and uh, got, you know, it was lovely. I, I, didn't get, I didn't get a message from my daughter in England, because they don't, there isn't a Father's Day in England. <laughs> Not a Father's Day at all? No, no. It's a, apparently it's a completely Hallmark made up thing. Do Hallmark advertise on CBS? <laughs> <laughs> if they do, I don't think that's true. And if they don't, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do, do you know what? They may have one now. But, yeah, they, they might do but, one. So she's soon. not in the US. Yeah, no, I, I, the Mother's Day thing. There's a Mother's Day in uh, in the UK, but it's a different different day. day that's right. Yeah, because my right. mother phoned me up and when it was Mother's Day there, but it wasn't Mother's Day. Well, here. if you're really smart and you've got the air miles, you can get both of them. Ah, oh, no, yeah. I, I can't do that. No, you can't. Uh, no, I'm suggesting it for your mother. No, oh, your mother could she could come over. Yeah, she could come over here, enjoy Mother's Day here, then fly back for her Mother's Day in, back home. <laughs> French! <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, hello, I'm here for Other Mother's Day! <laughs> you know, she called me up when it was Mother's Day in Scotland, but not here, and she said, Oh, it's Mother's Day over here, but it's not over there, so I know it's all right that you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, It doesn't matter because I'm in so much pain anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so, do, yeah. do you go back and forward a lot? Then? I do, yeah, because I've got grandkids now. So, you know, I go. Grandkids? Yeah, I've yeah, got a four year old and a two year old. Wow. Yeah, and, and the great thing about being a grandparent is that you suddenly discover that you. They, they, people talk about the special bond between grandparents and their grandchildren. Right. And of course, the truth is you have a common enemy. Ah, yeah. So, you kind of bond against a against pencil the pencil movement. That's right, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and now, of course, as soon as you sort of break the ice and mention that to other grandparents, you suddenly hear all these stories about. The way that grand I heard a wonderful story the other day, a friend of mine told me that his grandfather used to give him like tons of pocket money. Like, I mean, he'd get maybe like a couple of dollars a week from his dad, but his, his granddad would give him like 50 bucks. <laughs> and, and he'd say, don't tell your father. <laughs> And it was like this, and, and, there, and of course, and so the father would say, uh, "Hey, guess what, kids? Grandpa's coming around. They'll all be going crazy." Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, "It's so great. You love my dad so much. I'm so happy." <laughs> and it was just like, and they would just, and, and, and when Granddad would arrive, the grand, grandkids would have to stand up to welcome him. And he told me that uh, they weren't looking at his face; they were just looking at where he kept his wallet. <laughs> Just waiting for the for the little brown wallet to come out, and you know. He, That's, he, I think it's a good idea. Do you bribe your own grandchildren? Well, I will do. Four. Yeah, I will yeah, do. I will. Yeah. I, I'm I, I'm completely determined to, to support. I mean, I wasn't allowed to do it with my own daughters. So I'll do right. it with my grandchildren. Yeah. No. It's it's difficult when I do it with my son. I find myself saying all the things that I thought I'd never say. Like you know, well, we'll you know, not under my roof. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's seven, so you know, I got to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't a hotel. Yeah, that's right. Not a hotel. Not under my roof. It's not going to be happening. So you and your pot smoking yeah. buddies will have to go somewhere else. The one I, the, the one I remember was the, the, the great admonition from my parents. I remember was, was uh, what did your last one die of? Oh yeah, yeah. Because they they mean about your servant. Yeah, yeah, about, yeah, about yeah, leaving yeah. the year. What did yeah, your last one? things lying around. What did your last <laughs> servant die of? I didn't have a servant. I've lived here my whole life. You know I don't have a servant. <laughs> <laughs> no. When did you come over here? What age were you? Uh, over here? I was 40 when I came over to the States wow. the first time, yeah. yeah. Well, took, so you've been I, here, what, two years then? Thank you, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> You're very kind. I am. Uh, you, there's 50 bucks in it for yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Granddad. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I, and it was, but I'd, I'd, been, I'd been wanting to come over here since I was a teenager. I mean, I, when I was a teenager, I was completely obsessed with uh, American music, American Me too. clothes, I cars, you know, the yeah. whole thing. And, and I, 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 it was, a, the, I feel now as if my whole life was just a process of saving up the money to get here. To get here, yeah. Well, you went <laughs> to Elvis, until I was 40. El Elvis was, yeah. a, was, a, was a big part of it yeah, for me as well. Yeah, I loved Elvis. All Elvis, not just thin, young Elvis, but fat, older Elvis as yeah, well. Yeah. I, yeah. I, all of it, I like all of it. <laughs> So did a lot of people. Yeah, I know it's very popular. Yeah. But I, you know, but, but at school there was this bit. I, I was, I had, the, I was very kind of particular about the music I listened to, and it had to be. I was very interested, kind of like American music offer on American labels, and the big sort of thing was looking for the original labels, you know, the right. imports like Atlantic and Chess and Stax and all those. Well, they don't have that yeah. anymore. The kids just download it on the I iPods. Know. They I don't know. even go to a store. Well, I've started doing that now. Yeah, well, me too. You've become, got an iPod? Well, yeah, I've become a complete... I mean, I'm, I, I'm like... I'm, I've become such a cliché. Really? I, I'm sort of, you know, at 2 o'clock in the morning, I can't sleep, or if I've come back from work and I can't sleep, I, I'm, I'm in my front of my little laptop and I'm, like, YouTubing. And I'm sort of like, you know... <laughs> And next thing I know, I'm, I've spent five hours watching someone, you know, sort of cut their own hair. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and, 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 and my, my first reaction is, why the hell am I watching? This is the most ridiculous. And then I'm into it two hours, I'm sort of going, <laughs> you know, I'm totally, I can't take my eyes off it's it. It's something about it, isn't it? With it you know, you get, I, my son loves the uh, animals behaving in an odd manner. Yeah. Uh, you know, so. <laughs> like, I love, I love old, it. The, all these animals run like cats going, yeah. oh, hey, and all that. <laughs> yeah. And he laughs his ass off, and I'm like, oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do it when he goes to bed, I keep watching it. I keep watching it. <laughs> it's crazy. It, it, beca it, be, you know, it becomes, I mean, but, but there's some wonderful things about it as well. I mean, the, the wonderful things about YouTube is, uh, you know, when I discovered, and I think I, I, think I, I found out that you're a fan too, I'd, I'd been working with an, uh, an American actor who'd, who'd been raving about a guy called Foster Brooks. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Well, I'd yeah, never heard yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, Back you know, in the day, yeah. And, and, I, and so I, I, you know, went online and I, I checked, I YouTube, and up came all these fantastic clips of this guy. Who... He was, he used to do the drunk act. Yeah, and he was, was, and he was sorry, brilliant. Sorry. I mean, absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah, very talented. But, you know, but he never, he never came over to, to Europe, no. you know, in his heyday. I mean, they, so, they don't do drunk. So, there. no, no. <laughs> They, would, no, they, they all come over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a wonderful thing too. But yeah. I, you know, but did you ever Google yourself? Did you ever go on the Google and you know find out what the folks are saying about you? Once or twice. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I Googled myself once and because uh, my, my daughter phoned me up and said, here, Dad, check out, there's, there's loads of stuff on you on Google, check it out. So I kind of went thinking I'd, I was a bit above all this kind of thing. Yeah. And, I thought, and I punched in something and it was, uh, it was a, a review. Uh, a sort of like an online review for something. Yeah. And it basically said, you know, Alfred Molina totally sucks. <laughs> that guy reviewed me! <laughs> That's true! It was my grandfather. <laughs> he wanted the money back. <laughs> yeah. And I, and, I, and I sort of went... <laughs> no, you must... I used to do it. I used to do it years ago. And now, well, when I started the show, I used to do it a lot. And now I don't do it at all. Because that way, madness lies. Yeah, yeah. Because I realised I was looking for people to say mean things about me. And then I was like, if people were saying nice things, I went, oh, yeah, yeah, nice, 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 nice. <laughs> then get a mean one and go, how can I get them? <laughs> It's not right. We're completely out of time. Is there something we should mention? A, a project or a film or something? No. Nah. All right, then. <laughs> We'll be right back with Salmon Rusty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the Great Detectives Club. Oh, hey, I know you. You're Paul McCartney. <laughs> You must be new here. No, I'm Jessica Fletcher. Oh, yes. The best-selling murder mystery author. Yes, and the most famous detective around here. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. That is I, Sherlock Holmes. I've never heard of you. Yes, well, I've heard of you. In every case, you always ask the same ridiculous question. You mean, has it been a murder? <laughs> Poppycock, everyone knows the only appropriate query is, is this a case of homicide? <laughs> well, that's just what I say, except you sounded more gay. <laughs> Fish posh, I'm very manly. Chip chip. <laughs> Whatever that means. Chip chip. That's what they gave me, is well, all I've got. Chip chip is fine. That's fine. Not gay at all, chip chip. Uh, 
All right, anyway, Holmes, if that's your real name, mm. I can outsolve... <laughs> I can outsolve you in a murder case any time, Sherlock Holmes. You're on, Mrs. Fletcher. <clears throat> oh, what's that sound? Has there been a murder? <laughs> no, you nincompoop, the gentleman was just clearing his throat. Oh, oh my, he's down. Oh. Is this a case of homicide? Oh, no, 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 has there been a murder? No. No one has been murdered. This isn't a case of homicide. I was just picking up a napkin. You know, I'm beginning to think that the two of you don't belong in the Great Detectives Club. <gasps> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. That's the smallest part I've ever seen. Yes! <laughs> I don't think you have to be in the union for this one. <laughs> Good! Good God, Mrs. Fletcher! Yes! My brandy glass is empty. <gasps> May I have another one? Yes, yes, me too. But what about him? Oh, by all means, get in one as well. Yes, yes, he'll fancy a drink after he wakes up from his nap. Nap? Yes. Can't you see he's dead? 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 Oh, my. Has this is a case of homicide. No. Homicide. No. Homicide. No. Let's look at the... Murder. Homicide. Let's look at the clues. Okay. Is that you touching me? Or no? yes, yes. He's bald. Yes, he is bald. He, he's in a chair. Mm, it's Thursday. Yeah, I just farted. <laughs> the waiter, waiter did, it. did it! Damn, you got me. Yeah. I'll just have your assistant Watson uh, arrest me. All right, take the gun with you. You got you. it. <laughs> well, I hope you've learned something today, Mrs. Fletcher. On the contrary, I think I was the one teaching you, Sherlock. You don't know where that's been, do you? You don't know where that's been? Are you as turned on as I am that right more, now? more, I think more! <laughs> Let's go to the cloakroom and make out. Certainly. <laughs> Please welcome Alfred Molina, everybody. Uh, I've got to take that 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 photograph you showed of the uh, of the uh, the governor from Illinois. Yeah, yeah. Can you put it? Can you hair. can you put it up yeah, again? Yeah, I think we probably can. Yeah, do don't you think? He, don't you think he looks like Dan Aykroyd in Coneheads, but with a wig on? <laughs> he really? does. And isn't Dan Aykroyd from Chicago? No, he's not. He's from Toronto. <laughs> But it ends in no, when you when you put that up earlier on, I saw when uh, I did it. I did a triple take. Do you? Well, it's all, oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do they teach you that in the Porsche acting school? They do. They yeah, do. Yeah. yeah. We we spent days on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> days on the triple take. Did you go yeah. to a Porsche acting? I did school? go to a Porsche drama school. Yes, yeah, I went to the Guildhall School of Music and Drama, and was or that... as it was known, the Guildhall School of Screech and Trauma. <laughs> <laughs> It what was, did you yeah. do? Did you do lots of acting exercises, pretending lots, to be an animal? And yeah, stuff? pretending. Yeah, we, we, we had to go to the zoo and pick an animal and study that animal for weeks on end, and come they in. They do a lot of that. Yeah, don't they? yeah, yeah, complete, yeah, complete waste of time. It is. I mean, at what point? I've never, I've never walked into an audition or an interview for a film or a piece of theatre when someone has said, "So tell me about your animal." <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever done it. You know. <laughs> Could we see your kangaroo? <laughs> 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 Well, I, I worked on a rat, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing a rat for years. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's now. Tell me about the, the new film, Nothing Like the Holidays. Nothing Like the Holidays. Right. Yeah, it's a very, it's a lovely kind of warm family drama about uh, a Puerto Rican family in um, You're in not Chicago. Puerto Rican, are you? No, well, it's another ethnicity to offend. 
Oh, right, I see. You know, I mean, you know, everyone got... You play a Puerto Rican in the I movie. play a Puerto Rican, yeah, and right. it's, uh, it's a wonderful cast. It's a really lovely... It's, it's, you know, it's, but it's not about a Puerto Rican family as such. It's really about an American family. It's right. very universal kind of theme. Do you, are you a uh, very Christmassy person? Will you I am a, a Christmassy person, What will you do, yeah. for example, maybe the day after Christmas? I'll... <laughs> I'll be here with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I'm here. <laughs> um, I'll bring, uh, I'll bring some leftover eggnog. No, oh, that's very. You know, nice. I, I, you know, I only found out. I had a wonderful conversation with my wife the other day. She, 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 you we... still talk to your wife? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. How long have you been married? I can't remember. Wow. But I think it's my wife. I took. Yeah, yeah. she, she's in my house. She lives in the house. Yeah. yeah. That nice lady. Yeah, she, yeah. You know, she could be the maid. I don't know. I Ooh, really don't no. know. But no. she said to me the other day, you know, we, we buy, she buys bottles of eggnog from, from the supermarket. Right. And she said, I've just found out there's no alcohol in this. And I said, <laughs> I said yeah, that's why it's in the dairy department. Yeah, there's she, no so, alcohol in Yeah, so for eggnog? years she was drinking it saying, oh, this is lovely. <laughs> And acting all drunk, you know. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I all love it. Oh, no. yeah, yeah. Said, Doing no. all sorts of naughty things. You know, yeah. I thought I, I knew you were a cheap date, but there is no <laughs> alcohol in this. But I thought egg eggnog does have alcohol in it well, normally, though. Real eggnog in real Holland, eggnog. where they make you know eggnog. Holland. Holland. In Holland, I think that's where it comes from. Well, I think you made it, that up. Yeah, but it sounds yeah. good. You just you. you it's came more than what you, you came up with. <laughs> <laughs> you came out here and you come. Blatantly I, made up the origins of eggnog. Unlike, un you've set some very high standards for veracity in the show. I know, <laughs> but uh, I've just, I've totally subverted them. You have. <laughs> so eggnog is from Holland. I, I, I don't even think, think so. they have chickens in Holland. Well, no, but, it, but it's. No. <laughs> It's either it's it's Belgian or Dutch or something like Belgium that. Belgium and Holland, you know. very different. One of those low countries. Well, no, you know. Holland, Holland's flat. Yeah. Flat like Oklahoma. Yeah. Belgium is kind of like the Canada of France. <laughs> <laughs> to the north. And no, wait, but no, but I, I think yes, real eggnog is uh, is alcoholic. You know what I'm thinking of? Yes. I suddenly realised the, the Dutch thing is a thing called advocate. Advocate. Do you remember that? I have heard because it's grown up in Britain. And that... it's a bit like eggnog, but it's got a touch of brandy in it or something yeah, yeah. like that, you know. Yeah, something bad for your teeth, Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. how long have you lived in these United States I've been now? living here for 15 years. Really? Yes. And do you, do you, your family are all here now for Christmas then? They're, they're, they're coming over. My daughter's coming over with our grandkids and... Uh, you have grandchildren? Yeah, wow. yeah. You're yeah. doing well. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you. You're applauding me as if I'm responsible. Yeah. And I want to, I want to really emphasise I'm not. You know. Well, in a way, perhaps the eggnog is responsible. <laughs> yeah, but not the non-alcoholic eggnog. Not no. Really. No, do, no do, but they're, they're five and two and a half. They're coming up. It's their first trip over to the States. I'm really, really... You know, we, we, we've, I actually had the most extraordinary conversation at home. My wife actually woke up one morning and said, do you think we've got enough Christmas trees? You know, and you can't, you and you can't sort of pull, you can't put the reins on decorating the house because it's for the kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, that you, you have one Christmas tree. No, we it? have four. How could, how could you, you, you Hollywood bastard? <laughs> you have four Christmas trees. Well, you know, well, last I'm not kidding. Last year we had eleven. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't, don't run away with the idea they're all six-foot trees. There's one big tree in the house, of right. course. And then then the, the, the pathway from the, front, from the front gate to the front door, we have these little trees that line the path. Oh, right. So you just then, basically... You, know, you, you kind of, like, take down a rainforest basically. for your no, own... No, no. I'm very happy to say they're all fake trees. Oh, they're fake trees. We've, oh, that's we, very we nice. Haven't, we haven't used real trees since, or for years and years and years. Well, that's, I mean, yeah. it's, it's so great. At the, end, at the end of Christmas, you know, the day that I'm here with you, the day after Christmas... The day after Christmas, yeah. My family will be hard at work packing all these things. No, do you put it away I quickly? take Boxing Day very seriously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it off. Here are the boxes. Get, get, get the stuff in it. <laughs> do you take your stuff down right away? Do you take it down right... Because a lot of people... No, 12, in, days, the, the, the 12 days after Christmas it comes down. What? I think it's like halfway, halfway through the first week of January. But you see people in Hollywood, they've got Christmas decorations up. It's July. Well, the, you know those lights around the trees along Rodeo, Rodeo Drive? They're I know the ones year. on Hollywood Boulevard. I don't yeah, know the ones yeah. Oh, yeah, near the Sahara. I yeah, know. I know. <laughs> They're up all year. I, I don't know the Sahara. Oh, the Sahara and the motel. Really? Oh, it's a bags of fun. <laughs> 
that Sunset Boulevard. Oh, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hollywood right. Boulevard's a completely different Cont- thing. Much, yeah, much, much more classier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you will, will you, what you will you do Christmas Day? Will you all have lunch together? Yeah, there's going to be... Do you be, cook lunch? I won't be cooking Christmas lunch, no, right. but we're not, we're going, we're, we're not doing anything traditional this year. We're going to have, uh, we're going to have some beef and some lamb. No turkey. Well, we, had, we had a disastrous turkey at Thanksgiving. No, you have Thanksgiving then. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I, love, I love Thanksgiving. It's, 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 it's that, a great holiday, isn't it? It's the holiday that I've completely sort of taken to, absolutely. Even yeah. though you're a filthy foreigner? Even though I'm still... a filthy foreigner, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 still, I still, you know, because there are no presents involved, you don't have to buy anything for anybody. That's true, You actually, know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's full of, you but know, But I'm not good cheap. with turkey. Did you, did you, do you enjoy the turkey? I, I'm, I'm bored with turkey. Yeah, I'm bored with turkey the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm not, no turkey this year. But no. I noticed you, you, you had a, um, if I can mention it, you what? had that rather, that rather salacious red ostrich feather the other day. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, it's yeah. around somewhere, yeah. yeah. Yeah, have you ever met an ostrich before? Uh, yes, I have. I have, have you really? An ostrich I... like this? No. <laughs> have you ever met an ostrich this fabulous? <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. Where did I've, you meet an ostrich then? Well, I've, I've just wrapped on a film where I had to... Wrapped ki- on a film? Oh, yeah. you've just finished making yeah, a film. Yeah, just finished making yeah, a film, Yeah, some of us yes. don't live in Hollywood and have got a living Christmas <laughs> trees, all right? <laughs> but, you, but you want to, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, I you do. Want yeah. To. No, I, I, I just wrapped on a movie where I had to kiss an ostrich. <laughs> really? <laughs> I had to kiss an ostrich, and they're, they're very and they're they're very responsive. I discovered. <laughs> we had a we had a lady on the movie who was who was the kind of the ostrich wrangler. Yeah. She was looking, at, and I noticed she had these big thick gloves on. Right. And she kept the the ostrich had a kind of hood on its face, you know, to right. cover, so because if it can't see anything, it doesn't get freaked out. Right. And I'm like that. In, <laughs> in in the movie, I had to take the hood off the ostrich and then have some dialogue with the ostrich. And I noticed that in between takes, she was caressing the ostrich's neck very gently. Hello. It, 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 well, yeah. it was a little bit... There, yeah. there was a touch of the thing. Yeah. So I thought, well, I'll do the same thing, because right. it, obviously, it obviously seems to be working. To the ostrich? To the ostrich. Right, so I'm right. stroking the ostrich's neck while right. I'm doing the dialogue. Right. And uh, as, he, as the little chunk of dialogue ends, the director's shouting out, do it again, Fred, do it again, get closer. So I get a bit closer, and I'm talking to the ostrich, and I'm straight, get again, closer! So I got really, really close. I don't know what came over me, Craig. I don't know what possessed me. <laughs> I was in the moment. You know, I'm one of those actors. You're one of those you know, actors, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you. And the, the dialogue was something like, look at this, my beauty, my, you know, this, the only one I've got. You know, I, was, I was being very sort of, you know, not romantic, but kind of eulogising this ostrich. Pleased to be near an ostrich. Yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so I got really, really close. So then I just leant forward and I kissed the ostrich on the neck. Oh my lord! And this ostrich did the most perfect thing. It did a. Du- it actually did a double take. Really? <laughs> it actually went. <laughs> I'm sorry. I swear. That's fantastic. It was brilliant. Will you uh, uh, just? Will you see the ostrich again? <laughs> the thing is, we we named the ostrich Anita. All right. But then I found out that Anita was actually Alan. Hello. <laughs> So I think I can claim to be the first actor to actually commit an interspecies gay kiss on cinematic history. Congratulations! Thank you very much. Alfred Molina, everybody! <laughs> we'll be right back! And we're going we're gonna to look at the world of sport from the perspective of our friends across the pond. It's time for another segment of ESPN UK, everybody. ESPN UK. So Cecil Wellesley Hogg. And I'm Dirk Weems, England's bad boy of soccer. I've had more women than Ellen and Rosie combined. Booyah! <laughs> this week in American sports, the Pittsburgh Steelers won the 43rd Super Bowl. Oh, I hate American football. They wear so much padding. I never wear any protection on or off the field. Aha! Uh-huh. I hate the Steelers. I hate you. Ah! Oh, I hate everything. <laughs> oh, Dirk, just relax. Yeah, good idea. Speaking of relaxing, when you're feeling uptight, why not give Weem stress balls a squeeze? <laughs> it, it might come back. Uh, yes. <laughs> they, they do that, too. They, uh, <laughs> it always comes back, and... See, what you do is you squeeze my balls at home or squeeze my balls at work. You could even squeeze my balls with your friends. Stop that, Doc. Give those to me. 
You touch my balls again and I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll Jack, I'm tired of your outburst. Oh! That's why today's guest is an anger management therapist. What? Please welcome Dr. Monty. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Sir Cecil, but you forgot to mention my new book, Keeping Your Cool While on TV. <laughs> 9.95 while supplies last. <laughs> Glad you're here, Dr. Monty, because Dirk's anger is getting worse. Last week, he assaulted someone at the supermarket. Hey, the sign said eight items or less, and that idiot clearly had nine items. So I ran her over with my shopping cart. That little old lady never knew what hit her. Ah! Oh, well, that exact, that exact situation is covered in my other book, Keeping Your Cool in the Supermarket. <laughs> Which is also on tape for people like Dirk who are illiterate. Look, it even says for idiots. <laughs> Dr. Monty, I'm not sure Doug knows how to operate a tape player. He's a total cretin. Yeah, that's just where you're wrong. I've never even been to Crete. <laughs> Let's try an exercise. Why don't you take um, your, your aggression uh, for Cecil out on this, um, on this pillow? Oh, all right, then. <clears throat> oh, 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 yeah! Oh, Die, you oh, four oh, son of a bitch! Oh, no. Yeah, it's really helping! No, 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 no! no, no. no. Not like that, Dirk. Like this. Oh, right. All right, then. <laughs> take that! Take that! No, 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 stop, 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 stop. I know exactly what you need. Oh, another one of your lame-ass books, I no, suppose. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't be silly. What you need is a copy of Keeping Your Cool While Trying to Kill Someone by my wife, Dr. Cindy. <laughs> oh, I know Dr. Cindy. I've thumbed through Dr. Cindy's back pages, if you know what I mean. And if you don't know what I mean, what I mean is I shagged her. <laughs> hey, how come I didn't get a ding sound? Because you're lying. Oh, am I? Then how come I've got your wife's panties? Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Those aren't my wife's. Oh, uh, uh, those are my wife's. Oh, <laughs> sorry, wrong pocket. Uh, see. Oh, yeah, there you are. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Good God! Those aren't my wife's. Yes. The woman I love has betrayed me. My marriage is a sham. There's only one way to put my life together. With my book, Keeping Your Cool While Your Wife Is Shagging a Diseased Ape. Yeah. I'm not sure reading a book will help you, Monty. No, oh, I'm not going to. I don't want him to read it. I'm going to beat this bastard senseless with it. Hey, I don't, you bastard! Come on, then! Come on! Oh, That's all the time we have! Yeah. Join us next week when we'll meet one of the most glamorous women in sport, David Beckham! Oh, I love her! Come on! Please welcome, straight from a sketch, Alfred Molina, everybody! Hello, dear. How are you, dear? All right. I'm, I'm lovely, dear. Thanks very well, much. Yeah, very yeah. nice to see you. You're looking a bit goatee-ish, if you well, don't Goatee, you like it? You yeah, like I it? Yeah. Like I, it. This, is, this is a leftover from uh, the last job. And uh, it's uh, it sounds like I've just thrown it on. Um, and uh, you know the, the, the film I'm doing at the moment, they yeah. liked it because I had the beard for Pink Panther. Right. You Did know. you shoot the Pink Panther in? We in shot France? in Paris. Yeah, we shot uh, really? three weeks in Paris. How was that? I love the French. Do you really? Love the no, French. No, you don't. No, You're I don't. You don't like the French. <laughs> But you know, I was saying it's really odd. If you get if you get a bunch of Brits together, yes. say over dinner, right. it's only a matter of time before they start before someone starts doing a silly kind of French talking like this. Everybody starts talking like this. I uh, know. I don't understand. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy to me too. And then, but the worst thing is is when you when you're in Paris and you start doing it to the French. Oh, they. <laughs> They love that oh. so much. I'm, they... wa I'm wondering if I, I, I'm wondering if, if French people sit around dinner tables and are saying are things, are saying things like "Qu'est-ce uh, que c'est?" The London Times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know, I went to uh, Tijuana once. Don't ask with a friend not, of mine. Is that in Paris? <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's near Paris, and I went to Tijuana with my friend who he could speak Spanish, but he uh, actually he was in a sketch with us earlier on. Oh yeah, yeah, him. Uh -huh. No, he can speak Spanish, but he learned Spanish. His name's Philip. He learned Spanish in Spain, right? So he speaks Castilian Spanish. Oh, with a third, 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 third,
No, it was. I mean, it was great fun in France. I mean, the food was fantastic. It's and, great. Yeah, there's, there's France, lots isn't of. Yeah. Uh, isn't your wife French? No, 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 no. No, no, I, no. that's right. She I dresses that. up French sometimes. Oh, does she? Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah that's, that's nice. Uh, but you know, did I say that out loud? <laughs> yeah, I liked it. <laughs> No, that's good. Do you take the whole family when you? No, do that? no, no, no. We, I just went. I just went to. I was only there for like two and a half weeks. Did you so. stay in a hotel? We stayed in a very nice little hotel. Don't ask me the name of it. I can't remember. All right. But I had a fantastic view. I was on the top floor. Right. And I had this great view of the Eiffel Tower from my room. It was Many so places in Paris do have it was that. Yeah, because it's not. <laughs> Well, it's, it's a, a way. It's, it's like but a, I felt special. Okay, well, yeah, I felt special. I every, every reason to. Uh, you know, I thought they did it just for moi. <laughs> oh, you picked some of it up then. But you know, it's, be, a lot of people do that. You know, it's it's a way of trying to make you sound, make yourself sound a bit more educated. If you sort of throw in the odd. Throw in the odd kind of French phrase, you know. Well, I, I do that sometimes, but I find what helps is if you throw in an occasional uh, Russian or Tibetan phrase. Ooh, now you see, that would be very... I'd be very impressed by that. Well, it's great because... Grabishnik. Grabishnik. <laughs> I just made it up, but everyone goes, oh, <laughs> And Russian people are like, that doesn't even a, Russian yeah. make sense talk, to talk me. About, talk about making it up. I had a mate who told me this story. He, he went for an audition for an Italian role. Now, he's not Italian. He looks very dark. He could play Italian, but he's not Italian. He doesn't speak a word. Right. And the director said that he had to have actors who spoke Italian. So he turned up, and at, and at some point at the interview, the director said, so, you speak Italian? And he said, yeah. Say something. And he started doing this. <laughs> and he got the job. Of course! That's Italian! He got the job. <laughs> I, I, find, I find the best thing to do when you go to a country is, if you can't speak their language, imitate what they sound like speaking English, and they understand you perfectly. <laughs> so if you go to Italy, you go, Hey, what's the coming to go, everybody? Everybody's fine. <laughs> Nobody hates you at all if you do that. It's lovely. Now, have you been back to Britain much recently? No, no, I brought all the family over here for oh, Christmas. Oh, yeah, and, and yeah. are they still here? No, 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 they, no I got rid of them after yes. two weeks. No, no, we, it, was, it was great. I, you know, the grandkids and everything, it was great fun. But like I've forgotten how noisy and how busy and energetic grandkids are. Oh, I went, we went. We went for a drive. Um, I've I got to say this. We went for a drive through. My, my daughter wanted to see all the nice houses in Bel Air. Right. And so we went for a drive, and we saw this fantastic house with this beautiful wall around two sides, all covered in bougainvillea. And my, my my daughter said, "Wow, Dad, that's a beautiful, beautiful built, you know, beautiful property." And, and then about. Two minutes later, from the back of the car, my grandson says... What age is he? He's five. OK. And I quote... Mummy, I didn't say it out loud, but my face was saying, look at that wall. <laughs> Too scary. You know, just when you said that, your mouth went a bit funny. You know? <laughs> and there was a kind of bee sound. Oh, so I kind of yeah. missed it. Yeah, no, they do it's that. It's a great now. story. Yeah, great no, story. it's a great story. Yeah, and my only, daughter's... And my daughter's... Said... could tell it on television. <laughs> 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 ah, never mind. The not Oh, it was great. No, so I, had a, I had a lovely, lovely time with them. So it yeah. was, uh, but it was. And now they've gone back. They've gone back now. Have you yeah. got empty nest syndrome? A little bit. The first yeah. day, it was weird, 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 it was odd. I, I, I wasn't expecting that. Well, what do you do? Do you potter around in your garden, maybe? You know, uh, trimming your plants? No, no. My wife does that. My, my wife's the gardener. Well, what do you yeah. do? Then? I you sit, just sit around, not I, trimming I, them. No, I sit around with the latest box set of whatever I've got on my lap. Oh, oh what chocolates or DVDs? Mm. DVDs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I. <laughs> I, I like a nice box of chocolates. Do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do. I love that. Love you, a box you, of you chocolates. Like chocolates. If you're looking for a gift idea for okay, me, okay, that's it. That's very, yeah. Yeah. That's very you French. Say, you what, know. What shall we get, Craig? Get him a, a bois du chocolat. Yeah. Mais oui, mais oui. Uh, oh, sans lait or sans, uh, sans lait or avec lait? Kranzinski. Ah. Happy Monday, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh, no, I'll see you, I'll see you. Hello, Alfred.
Alfred Molina. How are you, dear? I'm very well. I'm very well. Can, can, uh, can I say? Can I just say congratulations on your wonderful news? That's Thank fantastic. you very much indeed. Yeah. I'm Good to know it all works. Isn't yes. It? Yeah. Well, it's then, a relief. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> even if it even if it didn't work, I'm I'm certainly happy with you know just running it through the motions just in case. <laughs> That said, well, congratulations at your age. I'm 48 years old. Is that oh, too no, old? No, no of course not. Of course, it's not too old. Not yeah, too what old. What age are your kids? My, uh, well, I was I was young when I had my my daughter was I was 27 when my daughter was born. Oh, so I was. Uh, Does that but, mean you're better than me? No, <laughs> no. It just means that it happened a lot faster. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I had that problem too, but <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine you having that. No, problem, no, I Greg. did. I, I had to I had to yeah. think about baseball. Be, yeah, yeah, I think I think we. Uh, <laughs> No, you're built for comfort, not speed, I can oh, tell. Oh, calm now. <laughs> oh. This, the film looks actually very good. I'm, well, not, you I'm can saying, take that tone of surprise no, out of you. No, I didn't mean that. I mean, it does look very good, though, with the, yeah, the, good, the mirror good. and you get up close. Yeah, 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 the old Hungarian. I love oh. it. When, when they gave me that line, I thought, I, I thought, I have, I, you know, well, I have to see that. Oh, I had a long time since I've seen the old Hungarian mirror trick. I thought, well, no, one, no one's going to buy that. But of course, um, but then I didn't care because I got paid really well. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, also, also, the truth is, that's why they hire you because you can sell that line. If they put, right. for example, that's Ryan right. Seacrest in there, they'd be like, well, what? <laughs> Unfair to Ryan, I think. Well, all right, maybe not Ryan Seacrest. If... I saw his Hamlet, you know. Really? <laughs> Marvelous. No. My Hamlet. <laughs> Do you mean penis? No, I meant the small village he lived in. <laughs> <laughs> he's not Hungarian, you know, right? He's Seacrest. not Hungarian. No, no, no. no, no many no, people no. think he's Hungarian. Yeah. Like, why do you always put the ooh -la -la cop over here? <laughs> <laughs> I just figured this out. Every night I come out here, I drink, I, I, I'm, and it looks like I'm being rude. Yeah, like it, I'm... Ma it, makes, it makes you look like a dancer. <laughs> I must <laughs> fetch my beverage. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> It it's a break. long time since I've seen the old Hungarian <laughs> cup drink. <laughs> Have you been then, dear? I've been great, mate. You're here? You're really... here? You oh, yeah, yeah, I had my head shaved for a... I was doing a play on Broadway and I had my head shaved for about the best part of uh, six months. Really? And uh, everyone kept saying, do you think it'll ever come back? Are you worried that it won't come back? See, that's, read... another, that's that age thing again. Know, isn't yeah, it? yeah. Well, I, I read a story that that's how Yul Brynner ended up sort of bald, because he, he shaved his head for a movie role, yeah. and then he got some illness or something. He got some virus or something. Well, that, that's, then, that's the clue. And then his hair didn't come back. Boy, that's it's the illness, not the shaving at all. Well, exactly, right. exactly. So I, was, I did oh, yeah. that with my downstairs hair. <laughs> When it ceased to what 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 when when, when, when it, it ceased to amuse me, Alfred. <laughs> it no longer amused me. I teased it into many styles and then I shaved it off. Uh, I, I, that must hurt. Does, does that hurt? It must hurt. That what must shaving hurt. off your downstairs it, hair? It must hurt. Yeah, but it hurts in an also yeah. Bastille Day oh, way. Yeah, yeah. You're very you're very you're very you're very, you're very happy about the Bastille Day. I, I think it's great. I think it's great because it means that people all around the world can can legitimately indulge in really bad French accents. You know. Are you implying my French accent isn't completely authentic? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. No, not at all. Not at all. No, but I, I, that's why I was glad when France got knocked out of the World Cup because it, 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 it meant we could all start going around going. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the Molinas from then? The Molinas. Uh, my dad was uh, Spanish from Madrid, oh, and right. my mother was uh, Italian. Ooh, from no, Torino. Fiery. Yes, fiery, very, very, yeah. My house, it was like the third act of Aida. Wow. Yeah, it was like a lot of screaming, a lot of shouting. Yeah, but know. very good food. Very good, very yeah. good food. Very yeah, good yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I was a big fat kid because I, I, I used to eat so much. I was just a big fat kid for absolutely no reason. <laughs> <laughs> just because you were Scottish. I think, I, you know, when I think back to it, I didn't really eat that much. I was just fat. Oh, no, we had loads. It seems terribly unfair. I was like, I, oh, I, no, I, nothing I remember, for me. I got, I got, I actually got beaten up in school once for, for, for turning up at school with an avocado pear in my lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, what's that? Yeah, what's that? Is what's that, that some kind of Nazi fruit? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. What's that, you Italian puff? Poof. Yeah, yeah. You know. Really? No, because no, my dad used to, my, my dad was a, a, a waiter in, in a restaurant and, and they used to, you know, one of the perks of the job was anything that was left over that couldn't be used, they would, he would take home. So, you know, he would come home like, you know, with little things wrapped up and I came back with these, a whole bunch of avocado pears and, and I actually liked avocados. So yeah, I, I, I like I, avocados I, too. I took one to school the next day in my lunchbox. 
and uh, they beat you up for it. I got, I got, yeah, I got smacked around for it. And no, you see, the thing is, that's the English for you. Well, in, in, in Scotland too, that would be the same thing. If I brought in an avocado or some such device like a <laughs> banana or an <laughs> orange, it would be like, who do you think you are, <laughs> lording it over us with your citrus? <laughs> Yeah, no, I remember that. Man. Yeah, no, 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 but, and they ask you why you come here. Do you, you still uh, hold avocados in your hand like that? Yes, well, I, 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 I do a thing where I, my father taught me this. Cause your I, father that was allowed to take things home from the restaurant. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. weren't being yeah. used. Yeah, he used to borrow food. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. right. And uh, you know, you slice it the long way, and then and then you just hit the uh, hit the, the stone with the knife. We're still talking about the avocado, That's right? right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were a grunt. When yeah, you hit, you the, hit stone the stone there. with that. Yeah, and, and and just do a little very mild, very subtle. Uh, oh. It's like, uh, yeah, and yeah. then you just turn the knife, and it it pops out. The avocado. The avocado stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The avocado yeah, stone. Yeah. Do you ever collect avocados? You should have I should have told you all this when you were trying to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't trying that hard. I actually warned my wife. I said, you know, if we keep doing this, something's going to happen. <laughs> She's like, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's it's. How many kids you got? I've got uh, I've got one biological child. Right. And two stepsons. And then grandchildren. And, and two grandchildren. Yeah, we talked about them when. Uh, yeah, when, you when were I was really here. Yeah, time, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I remember. What age are they now? In their forties? The, 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 the grandkids are now, yeah, twenty-five and. <laughs> <laughs> now my grandson's about to be seven this year, and uh, my granddaughter just celebrated her fourth birthday. Are they in America? No, they... no, they, they they live back in London. I, I, I said America like that. Is yeah, it? And I that, did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did that. Yeah, as yeah, if the, London the America's was like, that way. London's, London's that just way. over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> no, that's rather lovely. No, that's are, you, now, nice. in the, are you the bad uh, the bad wizard in the village? I am the bad wizard. Yes, I am. I am. Uh, Nick Cage's nemesis and uh, we started off the, the backstory is that we started off as we were protégés of Merlin oh, yeah. and thousands of years ago it, it, Balthazar Nick Cage's character decided to take the high road the road of good oh and you and, went you went the other I way went, yeah. I went the other way and then at some point do you say I am your father <laughs> <laughs> something like that but no, I, at one point I do mention the fact that we were friends once and we fell out over a woman Ah, that sometimes that is, happens. That is the men. way of the world. Yeah, absolutely. I sometimes go up to the interns around here and go, and say to them, "I am your father." <laughs> well, you're old enough to be there. I know. That's right, and uh, and it freaks them out. <laughs> I thought you were going to slap me there when I said that. <laughs> oh, because I'm old enough to. No, I'm old enough to have a teenage child. Yeah, yeah, yeah easily, yeah. easily. He said. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Not because I, of the way you look, it's the way you behave. <laughs> well, I behave all. Like an old... Yeah, like a... Oh, dear you! <laughs> what? Now get off my street and put some plastic on it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man, that's a very attractive watch. It's a, this is an antique watch. Really? Um, thank you for noticing it. My wife bought me that. It's an yeah, antique watch. That's very nice, yeah. yeah. it's lovely. It's about... When, when uh, does, when, how old is that, then? It's, it's about uh, 60 years old. And you can tell that by looking at it? It tells you? Well, because... <laughs> It tells when? me. It tells me the time. It tells me the time. It tells me what the time was in 1947. <laughs> it's 1947, and thankfully we won the war. Look out, though! Here comes the Soviet Union with some very nasty plans. Yes, but we can always. But thank goodness we can always rely on the French. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. Do you ever spend any time in France? Yeah, I've, I've spent. I've, I've worked there quite a few times. I've had. A, I always. You know, I love it there. I it's I fantastic. Yeah, I make fun I of it, but I actually love it. They're great people. Yeah, yeah, very, very nice. nice. And the food, you know, as you said, you know, the food's fantastic. I got to be honest with you, I prefer Italian food. Well, I do too. You know, but, I think French food—they could put a lot of sauce on it. You know. Well, and my I'm... mother always used to say, whenever some, whenever somebody uh, commented or, or complimented French food, right. My mother would always say, "They stole it from the Italians." <laughs> Your mother always... was from Pakistan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not safe here. You're here. not safe here. here. No, no, never try and do an accent on this show. <laughs> no. I tried <laughs> once, and it didn't work. <laughs> no, but she, she was always saying, no, the Italians invented you know, that was it. That's an Italian thing. The, the French stole that. The French stole that. I don't think they did, though, really. No, they they yeah, just I, put sauce on I everything. Think, yeah, they yeah. just... <laughs> Yeah. But they do. I mean, they, we had this. I had, I, I had, I had a mashed potato in Paris once. That was One so mashed potato. No, it was a portion of mashed potato, and it was so delicious. And I found out the secret was that it was fifty percent potato and fifty percent butter. <laughs> 
Anything that is 50% butter is delicious. Oh my god, it was fantastic. But and 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 the sh and the chef apparently said said that it, it was he 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 named the ingredients and he said and then there's a lot of this. Just a lot of stirring and stirring and stirring. And, and it came out, it was a beautiful, beautiful, small portion of mashed potato, and it tasted, it was like cream. It, the same consistency as cream. Why didn't you just have cream then? Well, because it was savory, you see? Yeah. It's, it was like, it's, like, it's just like when people say, you know, I'll try this soy hot dog. It's just taste. like milk. It's, uh, <laughs> 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 That's exactly what they say. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Uh, it's going to look out of place in the rest of the oh, show. Yeah, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't oh, matter. we got to go to commercials now. Oh, oh are, are we done? Or are oh, we are done? Oh, tootsie fruitsie. Um, <laughs> I mean, tootsie fruitsie. Uh, <laughs> really, we're done already. God. I know, I'm sorry, it's a, Alfred. It's all right. It's a play. It's always a nice. Always. Oh, nice it's to lovely to see you. I, I I like your haircut. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's very nice. Although I think the Italians did that first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they invented this. Yeah, right. yeah, the lovely Alfred Molina, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Doctor Watson, will you um, crikey? He's dead. <laughs> Questions abound. Who could do such a thing? How did they do it? And most importantly, where do I find a new assistant? <laughs> I, I also have a question. Has there been a murder? <laughs> I know you. You're Paul McCartney. <laughs> I, I get that all the time, but let me guess who you are. Let's see. You have a British accent. You dress kind of weird. You're a dude. You're obviously Madonna. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm Sherlock Holmes. And that's elementary, my dear idiot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I remember you. You're Jessica Fletcher, the famous murder mystery writer who always asks the same annoying question. You mean, has there been a murder? <laughs> Oh, Peshaw. Peshaw? Yes, it's an old Edwardian word. Peshaw. It means stop. Oh. If there's one thing I cannot tolerate, it's silliness. It's a load of naff, faffing codswallop piddly poo. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> but you need an assistant. What about me? I need the work since my last book didn't sell very well. Here it is. Self-massage for dummies. <laughs> Sorry, wrong book. Where is it? Here, hold on to this for a moment, would you? What kind of detective equipment is this? Oh, this helps me solve the case of the missing man, if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you don't know what I mean, what I do is I like to... No, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> now, I must solve this crime, and I can't have an assistant who keeps saying, Has there been a murder? Oh, fine, fine. I'm able to ask plenty of other questions, like, Has there been a death? By murder. That's poppycock. It's exactly the same thing. All right, all right. I promise I won't say it anymore. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yes. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cherry. Sorry, I thought I was in a musical. No. <laughs> Let's look at the clues. All right. First of all, a recently fired gun. Oh, that begs the question. Now, you say it and you're fired. I won't say it. I won't say it. Oh, blimey. Get out. You're useless to me. Really? Useless? What if I told you I could prove this isn't a murder? It's a suicide. <laughs> Pish, tosh, bish, bosh, bosh. What I'm saying is you couldn't possibly prove that. Really? Really? Well, consider all the clues. That lamp. Mm -hmm. It's July. Mm. I've got back fat. And <laughs> there's a suicide note. Look. <laughs> Yes, I didn't like it here, so I killed myself. Yes! <laughs> that's... that's really... I can remember. Stupid, isn't it? <laughs> yes? Ooh la la! Stupid, but yes. also brilliant. Yes, you're right! It's stupid, but brilliant! It's like it came all the way round! 
Look, the other side. Yes. It's like if it, it's like the tutti frutti between stupid and brilliant. Yes. Yes. Or to put it another way, it's an SBB. It, a SBB. Stupid but, but brilliant. brilliant. Yes. Oh, very good. I like when you say things and then stop saying them and just say the first letters of them. Yes, it's an old. Uh, it's, uh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It's a way of getting out of trouble. Yes. I think it's a BX five three zero T one. I suppose the B's for bollocks. Yes. yes absolutely. Yes, you know. When I think about it, we make an amazing tea. Yes. Is that your hand on my buttocks? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it's not him. No, uh, no, we can still work together. No, we can't work together. Oh, well, make your mind no, up. We I don't know where we're going We here. can't work together because of... Oh, I know. Sexual tension. No. <laughs> no, it's elementary, my dear she-male. I, I don't find you attractive. Really? Not according to your pipe. <laughs> Yes, I, I suppose I am attracted a, in a little bit. I've never seen my pipe quite so straight. <laughs> yes, I think it's ambitiously large as well. Yes. Not sure if I should put it in my mouth now. Well, I'm not putting it in mine. <laughs> Please welcome Alfred Molina, everybody. Alfred Molina. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. It's very nice to see you. You sound very American in that clip. Yeah, well, I've been practicing. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, and it's, yeah. it's, it's rubbing off when you It's you're, rubbing off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little, but you're sounding American now. Right well, here. a little bit, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's lovely to see you. And congratulations you on the show. It's, thank you. Thank it's you very uh, much. The, the Law and Order. That's yeah. um, Law and Order Los Angeles, or yeah. Lola, as it's becoming Lola. known. Yeah, Lola. <laughs> Didn't you yeah. used to work under that name a long time ago? I did, yes, yes, yes. Lola and her feathers, I yeah, think. Yeah, that's the, right, yeah, yeah. Thing. I remember the feathers. <laughs> What's happened to those guys? Well, no, they all, they all came out, but... Um, <laughs> And, and they, two of them are running a bed and breakfast in Vermont. <laughs> I, <think. laughs> I remember, that's right, they, they used to all come out and you were behind them that's as right. Lola. That, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. The, the, feathers, uh, the feathers were very strategically placed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it was, it was a good act. Small you know. feathers, as no, I they, recall. Yeah. No fairs. No. So it was a the act was good to us. sparrows and wrens. There was yeah. nothing ostrich there. No, no nothing a, ostrich. No, yeah. just little, uh, any sort of, any birds that can be, you know, any small birds. We used the feathers for. Didn't need anything. Didn't need anything bigger. Yeah. It was a very small it was, act. It was a small act. <laughs> played in very cold theatres. Yes, yeah. yes. We, we we only played in tiny venues. Yeah. Small venues. Yeah, congrats. You're playing a lawyer. That means you're playing a complete and utter bastard <laughs> in this. Uh... Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yes. But with a heart, with a heart of gold. Really? Does he yeah. have a heart of gold? Well, we, we'll see. We'll see. He's he's a he's a very um, he's, he's he's a tough character in the sense that he's kind of, uh, he, he, he understands that little moral sort of grey area between justice and the law. What is that you little know, moral well, well, area sort of then? Where, where, you know, the rules can be massaged in order to really? achieve, uh, <laughs> you know. Rules can be massaged to achieve a happy ending? Uh, a happy or ending the, or... or uh, at or, the end of the hour yeah, of television? That's right, when everyone can... And by run. television I mean... <laughs> Anything you, in that little area. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have you been here since the skeleton? Yes, yeah, uh, Jeff. Jeff. Uh, Jeff. I've, oh, yes, I've been here since then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. But he was always—he was very quiet last time I was here. Yeah, no, he's—he's. He's, I think he he's on spoke meth or something. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to? I haven't seen you since when? July is last time. Yeah, last, yeah. I just got back from the, doing the play in New York. My head was shaved. Oh, that's right. Yes, you did. were very frightening. Whereas my wife said I look like a penis with ears. <laughs> With my you could do head. that, you'd get the Nobel Prize, my friend. <laughs> Nobel Prize me. And the Nobel Prize goes to, it's going to be me. Oh, sure I, <laughs> I love the idea. I love the idea of the scientists doing all the speeches. The red know. carpet. Yeah, do I, yeah. yeah does, my, does this lab coat make me look fat? Yeah. I love that idea. Well, it's white. White it's, makes yeah, you look, yeah. yeah, puts the weight That's on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever do 
the red carpet things. When you I were... have done on occasion. Yeah. Yeah, but it's kind of the, 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 there was one there was one very wonderful moment when I was I did a film where I was playing you know the, the second lead and uh, uh, Salma Hayek was the leading uh, the leading star of the movie. Well, what was this film again? It was called Frida. Yeah, yeah, that's and right. Yeah, we yeah. did a red carpet for that. Right. And as we were coming along. They were kind of, all the photographers were kind of going, Salma, 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 over here, over here! Salma, 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 Salma! Salma, Salma! Oh. <laughs> yeah. And then there was this, I was standing there, and then suddenly I felt this hand just kind of take me by the elbow and pull me out of the way. Oh, that's a And it was, the, uh, it, was, <laughs> it was the, it was the publicity manager. He was like, I was <laughs> just pulling me out of the way. It was very funny. I'm glad you saw the funny side. I, I did see the funny oh, yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to be there anyway. Right. You know. Would you not enjoy it then? Not really. Because like, no. they, say, they say stupid things to you like, smile. Oh, come on, give us a smile. And you want to say, what's that like, coming? I go. Yeah. <laughs> this is you know as good I, as you're you, making me feel. Do you know you what I hate is when, if you ever go in any of these things, right? I only never do it. If it ever happens. Anyway, look, <laughs> when I, uh, whenever I go in the, and they say, what do you think about Tiger Woods? And they go, what? I, I don't want to talk about that. And they go, it's not like, and then they can yeah. use it in their little show business show and exactly, say, oh yeah, yeah the yeah. Scottish Conan guy said Tiger Woods is naughty right, and everything. Yeah. And then, then they, 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 you know, they, they, they kind of like sideswipe you with, with they'll, they'll ask you all these kind of trivial questions about, you know, what you're doing and what you're wearing. And then they'll suddenly say, so, what's your solution for world peace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like. What is your solution for world peace? <laughs> More pornography, I yeah. think. Yeah. Because if you're keeping your hands busy, you can't throw a punch. Ah, see, I like your style. I like your style. Busy hands keep no, the exactly. devil away you know, or something. You know, yeah. Because yeah. when you're in the middle of it, it's like someone says something, you gotta go, yeah, sure, whatever, whatever. Sure, be within a second. You know. I don't do that. No, no. 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 Well, no you're too busy. No, right? you're, too you're too busy. busy. I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just shaving! <laughs> My entire body! <laughs> so, you were in uh, New York doing the plate. Was it very hot over there? It was, was very horrible, hot. It, it was starting to get hot. It didn't quite yeah. get as hot as it ended up like. It wasn't quite at the, the height of the summer. But were you here last good. week when it got to 120 yeah, I was here. or something? I can't something. believe it, yeah. yeah. yeah I, very, I very hot. burst into flames. Did you really? <laughs> Kind of flaming in a yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I understand. I Do mean, you have the same problem? I, everybody thinks I'm gay because of my accent. <laughs> yeah, I think people. I think people make the assumption that if you sound vaguely European, yeah, you're gay. Yeah, and it's interesting because nine times out of ten, you probably are. Probably are, yeah. <laughs> But the thing is, that 1% that we belong to, You're right. we kind of get, mm -mm, we're all, mm, mm, yeah. you know, we're all, we're all tarred <laughs> with the same brush, you know what I'm saying? But, it, but the worst thing Have you is, ever been tarred by a brush? Never been tarred by a brush, no. never... But I've been brushed by a tar once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember that's, you, almost, yeah. that's almost the gayest thing I've ever said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost the almost, gayest thing you've ever almost. said. Almost, Why is almost. it funny to pretend to be gay sometimes? I don't know, it's just, it's just, it is funny. It's yeah, fun. it is funny. I, I don't know what it is because, I mean, I in no way mean disrespect to the gay community no, by me doing neither. that. I, I, no, I really well, don't. But. It's because they've got the best jokes, they've got the best music, they've got the best clothes, you know. Yeah, it's true, and the furniture's neat and everything. For, yeah, yeah. Everything, yeah, everything's great. <laughs> Best parades. I mean, if you look at the history of parades, like Gay Pride Parade versus, you know, Shriners Parade. Oh, I'd rather go to the Gay Pride Parade. Yeah, I mean, I'd be like, mm, I'm here, not really yeah. queer, but I enjoy myself. I, when we got our when we got our house renovated, I was showing some friends around all, everything that we'd done, and yeah. we had these new bathrooms put in, and I had this nice, which I thought was like a really nice bathroom, and th these friends of mine came to see who were gay, and they walked into the bath, they went, and they looked at the bath, and they said, oh. This is a gay man's dream. <laughs> and I, I was really flattered. Yes! Because that, that I thought, you're... that means I've got pretty good taste. <laughs> and I found myself going, really? <laughs> 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 I was delighted. So you've had your house renovated then? I had my house renovated, yeah. This is like yeah. a talk show. It's, it's just like, you know, it's almost just like a talk show. Yeah, it is.
is that what I used to watch talk shows and people come on and say, oh yeah, you just had your house renovated. Are you actually up? Yeah. But in those days, they all used to smoke. Smoke, yes, that was the I thing. Saw, I saw some old reruns of, of some early talk shows from like right. the, the, the 60s and it was amazing. People were like lighting up and smoking. Oh, doing lines of coke off yeah. the tail. Like, <laughs> so, uh, tell me about this <laughs> Easy Rider thing. <laughs> Sounds yeah. like a good movie. <laughs> 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 oh, bring! I, I miss that. Yeah, I miss yeah, those I days. Miss I miss those days. Nowadays, it's now all... you've got now you've got a snake for a cup. Yeah, yeah. Now you've got to drink out of a waxed snake. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of waxed snakes, um... not lately. No. No, I'm just wondering. <laughs> I didn't want to ask. <laughs> How are things over at NBC? Everything everything's right? fine. It's yeah. very nice to be over at the Rival Network. Everything, everything's very nice. It, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's all going very well. But I've noticed they haven't invited me on any of their talk shows. Haven't they? No. Oh. No, so, you know. Who's working over there now? Who cares now? Yeah, I'm sticking... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they won't give me the time of day. I'm Wonder not giving them the time of day. Well, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure you've stirred up a bit of a hornet's nest yeah, now. Yeah, good, yeah, good. There'll, there'll be all sorts of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come and do it. I said, no, sorry. No, no, you can't. No. You, you should do Fallon's show. He's good. Yeah, he's, yeah. He is, I've, yeah, I've, no, I've watched him his show. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's good. good. He's lovely. No, but if yeah. they ask me, I have, to, I have to check with Craig. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm saying it's fine. <laughs> okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, very no, much. no, you're all right. Oh, you do, do a Jimmy show. Yeah. yeah it's in right. New York, though. You have to go to New York. That's all right. I went to New York recently to do a talk show, what and one? I flew all the way there. One of the early morning shows. Regis. Uh, no, no, no. Another one. earlier than that, and I was on for a minute and tw I, I was on for two minutes. I flew all the way there. Ah, oh. how long did it I take you? I was exhausted. <laughs> 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 At least you get a solid ten minutes here. Yeah, well, well, it's over, though. Value for money. No, it's over. It's Is done it? now. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks very much. Well, here, here do you want to uh, go out on a quick uh, blow? Why not? All right. All right. <laughs> if you oh, there you go. You got a fresh one. Oh, here. I got a fresh one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I say. Yeah. All right. Unwrap it. That's slowly, great. slowly. All right. Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three. I saw the time we got half a million. <laughs> Alfred Molina, everybody. Very happy to see. Did you? That's a lovely suit you're wearing. Thank you very Did much. Did you just walk straight from that clip right onto the show? Yes, yes, I. I changed my tie and yeah. put a comb through my hair. Yeah, it's nice. And uh, yes. Wait a minute, you're English again. You I'm were American again, in yeah. the clip, and now you've become English again. I keep telling you, this is my relaxed and I do the English for the chicks. <laughs> That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I, uh, are you excited about the royal wedding? You're English. I'd rather eat my own elbows, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't go. I thought I'd, you'd be I'd, invited. No, no. I, I, I did an interview recently, and this, this woman said, uh, so the royal wedding's at the end of April. Are you going to be there? And I said, no. Are you going to be watching? No. <laughs> are you interested? No. <laughs> and then she looked into the camera and went, ah. <laughs> it was like it was like it was the it, 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 the it was like the interview had just hit a wall. I, like, listen, I have been right. there, girlfriend. I say here some nights they come out here. I'm like, hey, I got nothing. Say the name of your product. What's that coming to go? <laughs> Uh, it's hard, though. I, I sympathize with her some, I mean, I feel naughty sometimes, though, when people interview me about anything. I'm like, oh, what? Come on, wait. No, you know, like, I was just trying to be honest. I mean, yeah. she's asking me, you know, I was saying, no, I mean, you know, good luck to them. I hope they're very happy and everything. But I mean, I'm not interested. And it was this kind of terrible, the crushing look. Disappointment. It, it was yeah. as if I'd wished her some terrible illness that she, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you see, 
Right. Did you wish but I think people are more interested here than they are in, in England. Really? I, don't, I haven't been in Britain in a it's long, long time. It's positively hysterical here. I mean, you know. But well, here they've got, they've got, you know, they're selling all these things now. You know, the commemorative mugs and the plates. And right. They've even got, I think, a commemorative toilet roll. <laughs> oh, now you have my attention. <laughs> Because now I, I can express might like how I really feel about those <laughs> yeah. bastards. Yeah, I think, I think I hope they're very happy. Yeah, that's right. Let me wish you one more time. <laughs> The, uh, I think, though, that Americans quite like their royal weddings because they don't have to Bulala! pay for them. That's, that's right. the... Uh... That's right. Oh, that, was the other, that was the other thing I said to this interview. I, I said, I'll get interested in the wedding when the royal family start paying tax. Yeah. And, they, and he was like... Mm. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, 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 no <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> the, 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 the people from NBC who were organising the, uh, the interviews, I could see them all rushing around to the, to the interviewers coming up saying, Don't, don't, don't ask him about the royal wedding. No, no, no. Oh! Like that. Don't say it, don't say it. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, dear. So, NBC now, but you've changed. Now, uh, you used to be a, a lawyer, now you're a cop, or you're a cop. That's right, yeah, yeah. My character started out as a DA, and now he's he's gone back to uh, to, to being a, a, being a cop. Yeah, the only DA who actually could take the pay cut. <laughs> yeah. Is that. It's kind of like he's bi curious? He's by curious, yeah. absolutely. Yes, he's by curious. Yeah, he's gone back. To, yeah, but it's it was an interesting. Uh, it was an, when the idea was pitched to me. I thought this is either a bold stroke of genius, or it could be the last wave of a drowning man. I don't I, I think that about this show every damn night. <laughs> I think we're either yeah. doing something very interesting here, or this is a yeah. desperate man feeling. Yeah, you look yeah. like a man hanging by his fingernails. I you feel look... like <laughs> it. It's true. Now, um, let's see. Do you know anything about American procedural law, criminal law? Do you know anything about criminals apart from your own criminal history? <laughs> I like, you know, I've, I always go back into myself, right. you know, for my parts. No, I, well, I did, I did a little bit of research, and I, and I, I did meet some, I, I did meet some detectives, and they were, they were really interesting men because they, they, they sort of, they had this sense of humour that's incredibly macabre. Very dark, yeah, you know, yeah, and, yeah. And, there's, and there's, so there's lots of kind of jokes that I think ha I could never get away with telling jokes like that. No, no, and I but, can't. And yeah. <laughs> And they're like, but the, but lot, I mean, there was there was one detective who who said, uh, "Are you married?" And I said, "Yes." He says, "You want to see a picture of my girlfriend?" And I said, "Yeah." And he pulled out a photograph, and it was a photograph of a cadaver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like like a. Hang on a second. A, a dead, dead body. Person? <laughs> I don't understand the French, there, Alfred. <laughs> A cadaver. It's what you put on the back of chairs. No, no, that's an antimacassar. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he just pulled it out, and, and, the, and his, the, his, the humour for him was to see the look on my face. And, and, I, and, I, and I did, I sort of went, phew. Yeah. Like and then I saw him go, <laughs> I, I think I made his day. I think yeah, yeah. Well, luckily, that's who we've got solving crimes, then. <laughs> well, you've got me now. Well, no, right. well okay. no, I think it's quite interesting, though, that people like that, because I'm, I'm rather, you know, I've gotten to the age now where I, I'm impressed and I kind of like cops. It used to be, you know, when I was younger, I was not that impressed with them, and I didn't like them at all. Uh, they kept chasing me around and trying to get me to explain what I was doing. <laughs> you didn't get into a lot of trouble when you were younger. No, I didn't. I, the, the only bit of trouble I got, I think I may have told you the story, I got, the only bit of trouble I got into was when I got stopped by a policeman in this country. Oh. Uh, but I did get arrested at a demonstration once when I was very young. What were you demonstrating I, against? I, 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 I actually can't remember. Really? It, but it, but we, we, very important though, yeah, I'll bet. Yeah, at, the time, yeah. at the time, it must have been crucial. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, we sat down outside 10 Downing Street, you know, where the Prime Minister lives, and, yeah. and uh, we all got arrested. I got picked. And Jill, my wife, told me that she was trying to find out where I was, and she was phoning my stepson while she was watching TV, and there was a clip of me getting arrested. Wow. And apparently she was saying, Adam, I'm looking... I don't know where Fred... Oh, don't worry, I think I found him. <laughs> <laughs> and there was me kind of going... <laughs> How dare you, I'm outraged about this thing I can no longer remember. Why? I am so outraged. But the next day, but we, we, had, to, we had to go to court the next morning. We had to be arraigned at uh, court the next morning to pay a fine. Right. And this judge, who was clearly bored out of his mind, and we were all taken out, so we all got up. And I noticed the people in front of me, if they... If they made a political statement in the the dock, they got a bigger fine. Oh! So me, the coward that I am, I, th I decided to be absolutely quiet. So I, I said nothing, and the judge said, "Do you have anything to say?" And I said, "No." And then he said, "What do you do for a living?" And I said, 
I'm an actor. Really? Successful? <laughs> I said, not really. Was, 15 pounds, fine. <laughs> oh, really? That's pretty good. And I thought, uh, you know, he was like, is this somehow, you know, oh, well, he can't afford it. Give yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a terribly bad business for the, uh, for the actors when, they, when it's not working, oh, isn't no, it, dear? No, that's very sad. That was, that, that was the, uh, that was the uh, but I was on a stage, you know, on the dock. I stood up, I had a light. And you still didn't see anything, which showed anything, a remarkable but was, restraint, but I, I was think. Dying, uh, yeah, yeah. To break into song. My Lord! What I would like to say on this day as we are gathered here. <coughs> I'd have still been in jail if they'd have put me up there. Did you do a lot of uh, theatre, regional theatre and stuff when you were starting out? Oh, well, yeah, I did. I did loads of stuff, yeah, all over the place. I toured and, you know, did shows. I worked for the Children's Theatre Company. I did, we did, we did like, potted versions of Shakespeare for ten-year-old kids in school. Why would you do Shakespeare for a ten-year-old? You go, well, you do, to be or not to be? To be. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we did plays where we cut out all the serious stuff, and we just did the kind of the funny, the comedy stuff. All right, okay. And it was all very over the top, and you know, yeah. not, very, not very good. But you know, the, but we do four shows a day. You know, it's like exhausting. Yeah, I've done a bit of that as well. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Now I just do one show a day. It's crap, but it's only one a day. Did <laughs> you get tired doing this? You don't get tired. Well, no, I mean, what I'm about, about, I'd say, 18 months to two years ago, I genuinely stopped giving. Crikey, dingo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of acted it a little bit to that point, but at a certain point, I went, oh, I feed the sin. And, <laughs> and I think that it, it makes it a lot easier to do the job when you have right, a complete right, disregard yeah. to whether you keep it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, th I think there's, there's, a lot to, there's a lot to be said for that. Yeah, absolutely. I know. I mean, I'm sure I'll regret it deeply once I get -la -la! out of here, but until then... Yeah. Well, every time I get every time I get a phone call from you know at work and that somebody they'll say, oh, uh, Fred, uh, you know the producers would like to talk to you or the director. I always, there's always a part of me that thinks I'm going to get fired. Have you ever been fired? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I've been fired. For what? Excellence? No. Oh, thank you, Roger. <laughs> That's very nice. Ah, uh, you know, I yes, always uh, like that. Uh, I, I might. Uh, can I quote you? I'll, 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 I'm going to do that next time. Yeah. I got fired for being really good. <laughs> No, I got, you know, I've been fired, and, and it's, not, it's never very nice, but there's always that moment of, of you sort of, you know, you kind of go, well, I, I didn't want this job anyway. Right, yeah. And then you decide to make an, entry, make an exit, you know, you kind of like, you know, and I remember once I got fired and I, I picked up my coat and I thought I'd give it a bit of a flourish, you know, like <laughs> I didn't care. And I picked up my coat and I managed to knock a bottle of water over, all over, the person who had been trying to save my job. Ah. Uh. The, the one person in the room who was yeah. kind of saying, oh, please reconsider, please, th you know, give him a chance. <laughs> give him a chance. <laughs> and I grab oh, like fire a... him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear, that is... Well, actors, though, deal with that kind of rejection all the time, though, really. I mean, they you, do. They you, do. you learn a part and you go up and you audition... Well, I don't suppose you do much in the way of auditioning now, but, I mean, they, they, you audition for a part and then they kind of reject you right there. That's in, right. In the moment. That's, That's right, why yeah. I would never let, uh, you know, any of my boys be actors when they're kids. Because, uh, you know, if they say you want to be actors, I say, well, you have to wait till you're grown up you know I love you but the answer is no mm. because that's what you're gonna hear most more than anything else when you're an actor I they love you but the answer is yeah, no but you develop you develop a bit of a thick skin to it you know but it's, it, it's never pleasant no you know you kind of uh, you deal with it but it's never it's never pleasant to be told you know no it's, you know, it's horrible but yeah, no, uh, it's awful it's, by, it's like being rejected by a girl you didn't want to sleep with in the first place <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to take your word for that <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's happened to me many times, Alfred. <laughs> uh, we're kind of, uh, we're low on time. Would you fancy an awkward pause or harmonica? L let's have an awkward pause. Awkward pause, really? Uh, you surprised me. Because we did the harmonica last time I was here. Oh, we did. Uh, I, but I've, I've always wanted to do the awkward pause. Well, the awkward pause <laughs> is, you know, one that I relish doing with actors such as yourself. Yeah. But I wonder if we could probably approach an awkward pause with maybe a subtext. Let's try that. Uh, sexual? Okay. Or... Uh, we could try for smell my finger, awkward pause. Let's go for the subtext. Subtext, sexual yeah. subtext, awkward pause. I might throw a smell my finger into that. All right. All right. Alfred, the, the word pause would imply a lack of movement.
This is the first time in a long time I've been scared doing this show. You've met your match. I think I have. <laughs> Alfred Molina, everyone. <laughs>
Um, I can't remember. Uh, they both kind of look the same. <laughs> have you ever met Angela Lansbury? Oh, yes, I have. I've worked with her. Really? Yeah, she's, she's ex surprisingly she, tall. Isn't yeah, she? she's very tall. She played my mum, and right. she was, uh, and she's, she's got a bit of a potty mouth. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> See, I wouldn't have thought. She likes to talk dirty. Do you know who else is a little bit like that? Surprisingly, Julie Andrews, Dame Julie Andrews. Really? Oh, she's lovely. She's like, oh dear, how lovely to see you. I think this is lovely hair. And I'll tell you, even cuss words like that coming out of Julie Andrews, you go, that's classy. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> No, but she's great, Angela. She's great fun. Yeah, she, she, you should have her on the show. I would love she's to have her on the show, but I think it. I might have ticked her off a bit by oh, saying no, she looks no, a bit like Paul McCartney. No, I don't think so. I think, <laughs> I think you're more, you should be more worried about how Paul McCartney feels. Oh, no, I tell you, <laughs> I, I was actually I was presenting at the Grammys one year, a couple of years ago, and I walked out to present this award to uh, Katy Perry. It was and and the uh, it was that she had a song called "I Kissed a Girl," and uh, just before uh, our manager came up to me and said, "By the way, Katy's not really a lesbian." I'm like. I don't care. <laughs> and went, all right. And then I went out, and I went out to present the award uh, to Katy Perry, and in the front row at the Grammys, Sir Paul McCartney. And he's looking at me, and I'm thinking... Giving you the beady eye? He hates me. Oh. <laughs> He's clearly, you know, he watches the show when he's with uh, President uh, Obama and Michelle. That's right. That's right. He's like, uh, I, you know, I usually watch Conan, you know, but because uh, <laughs> it was it was back in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think we're probably out of time already. Aren't Thank we? God for that. Yeah, no, it's been dragging. It's a tough one. It was a bad one, wasn't it? So the film, not, anyway, not, film not, looks not good. Not our finest hour, this one. Chris. No, I think it was a great one, actually. <laughs> Listen, we got to know a lot more about your downstairs gentleman's garden area yeah, than I right, thought. That's right, that's right. Yeah. So, um, awkward pause, mouth organ, glittery ball? Um, I like awkward pause. Sure. Uh, the only thing I would say to you is, with the awkward pause now, we are trying some subtext. Yeah. Now, normally I would suggest the subtext of, I'm trying to look at your genitals and you're surprised by this. Mm -hmm. But I don't think this would surprise you. And also... <laughs> Also, I think a, an actor of your calibre, if you don't mind me saying so, I would like you, if you would like to, to choose your own subtext for the awkward pause and we can have a go. All right. All right. All right. Is that it? <laughs> Look, I, I know this is probably a bit stupid, but do I know what the subtext is? <laughs> Or, this is just your subtext and I'm just, you know, I'm just out here like oh, a grey hair on its own, if you know what I mean. Oh, I have to tell, I have to tell you well, what the subtext is. Well, it would be nice if I'm, you know, working with you in this awkward pause, if you would, you know, All right, me... well, the subtext is that I'm... My arse is on fire. Your arse is on fire, or, or... Can, can we say arse? It's a British word, it means ass. All right. Your ass is on fire, smouldering. Smouldering. All right. Look, I know this is a bit stupid, but uh, it, it's not painful then. <laughs> no, it's not painful. Oh, right, right. No, it's 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 pleasant. <laughs> and my, my my. I didn't realise subtext had to have some sort of quality. Oh, all right, all right, sorry, sorry. Far be it from me. You're the actor. <laughs> you're, you're the one in a play. <laughs> <laughs> I made myself laugh yeah, there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, like, your ass is on fire and you're enjoying it. All right, all right. <laughs> Great Alfred Molina, everybody. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, thanks for your support. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, Jeff is uh, undergoing some uh, repairs at the moment, so we are trying out various different personality chips for the next two weeks. So uh, Jeff uh, will not necessarily be his normal self tonight. Is that right, Jeff? That's absolutely right, yes. I see. Uh, Jeff, this evening you seem to be sort of English. Yes, I, I, I picked up the E chip from the E file. <laughs> To, how did you manage to pick it up, Jeff, using your one arm that only goes up and down that much? It's a very small file. 
Uh, it'd have to be a very small file that was right there. Yes. I see. So you're English, uh, you, but you have no emotions or you have emotions? No, I'm English. It speaks for itself. I see. <laughs> Given that you uh, have no emotions, uh, oh, English, uh, sexually repressed? No. It's only sexual harassment if the robot isn't cute. <laughs> wait, wait. Is your mouth working all right? I'm slightly, I'm slightly concerned we were in a badly dubbed Jackie Chan movie right now. I'm breaking in a new boy. <laughs> Did you just think that and I heard it? Oh, you heard it. <laughs> All right, uh, join us after uh, this with new English Jeff. <laughs> Do you follow the sex scandals, English Jeff? Always. <laughs> you know, you... <laughs> Wait, do, do, you, do you follow them in the newspaper? You still read the newspapers, I, I assume? Of course, yes. Yeah. Do you read English newspapers or American newspapers? Does it matter? Well, of course it matters. How are you going to get the latest news on the Kardashians from an English newspaper? They know oh, nothing. The Kardashians are all over the place. Really? Yes. So they have the Kardashians in England? Yes. I see. How do you feel about that? I don't. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a robot. <laughs> yes, I, I'm familiar with what you are. I'm just, I, I thought you might have some kind of emotion. You have no emotions at all? No. <laughs> you managed to say that without moving your mouth, I see. <laughs> yeah. I'm economising. You're, oh, you're economising, are you? Yeah, yeah. Economy of movement, that's what makes you a great actor, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I see. He's proving me right. I'm Jeff, still uh, economising. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, I know. L listen, normally uh, what we do at this point in the show, you probably don't know this because of the chip you've got in at the moment, but normally, Jeff, you, will uh, introduce the commercial break. Do you feel up to that? Absolutely. Right, well, just look over here as opposed to the place where you're looking over there. <laughs> Look, o look over here, Jeff, and then just, you know, introduce the commercial break in whatever way you feel comfortable doing. No. <laughs> Don't forget to come back after the commercial break. Yes, that's great! <laughs> the show where we're, uh, it's great tonight. There's, uh, it's the usual, but the, but we're trying out different personality chips on Jeff and things are going great so far. You ready, Jeff? Yes, that's good. That's what regular Jeff does. Flummoxed. I've never. Regular Jeff has never been able to hit the high notes. Well, maybe. Has he been replaced by Croatian Jeff? No, that's jive talk in England. Oh! <laughs> jive talk in England? Say it again! <laughs> It sounds a tiny It's not bit... worth the scrutiny, Craig. No! <laughs> I'm just saying. It sounds... <laughs> it sounds a tiny You've bit... You've got much better things to do. All right, all right. All right, well, you know what time is, don't you? Yes, it's time for emails and tweets. Yes, that's exactly right. Do the thing. <laughs> This is uh, from Chuck in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You ever been to Tulsa, Oklahoma? I've never been to Tulsa, Oklahoma, no. You say that like you've been to another Tulsa that wasn't in Oklahoma. No, Tulsa, it sounds like some sort of skin rash. Um, that's a completely different place. Have you ever been to Skin Rash, Oklahoma? <laughs> You're right there. No, that made me smile inwardly. Oh, I see. Yeah, that, that doesn't help that much. Uh... All right, 
this is from Chuck. He says, uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. My wife and I are looking to buy a pet and we can only afford one. She wants a cat. I want a dog. How can we compromise? Jeff, cat or a dog person? What do you think? Dog, every time. Really? What yes. kind of dog do you like? One with four legs. <laughs> And you don't like cats at all, or you just like them slightly less than dogs? I find cats impulsive. <laughs> you can trust a dog. Well, it depends. You trust it to do what? You can't, you can't trust it to drive your kids to school. No, but it can fetch and carry. And a cat won't? No. What will a cat do, then? Ever tried telling a cat what to do? Yeah. Liar. <laughs> Ever been to Skin Rash, Oklahoma? Have you? In a way. <laughs> I, I feel a certain tension between us. Cut me some slack, it's my first day. All right, yeah, fair enough. All right, this is from uh, Adrian in Chattanooga, Tennessee. You ever been to Tennessee? You got a little place there? I like to go swim and get naked and throw pizza people? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. a southern thing, isn't it? What, getting naked and throwing beads at people? Yes, I understand. No, no, no. It, it's a people thing, man. Mm. People like to get naked and throw beads at people and go swimming. I can't go swimming. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry about that. My bolts would rust. You'd, you'd look like you were in Skin Rash, Oklahoma. <laughs> This is kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, Craig, I'm Jeff. I'm a typical American kid. Gee willikers, that's great for you. <laughs> My parents just got a job in Brussels, and I have to move there with them. Any tips on how to adjust over there? Well, are you in luck? We have a European chip in Jeff for this very purpose. Jeff, how would a young American kid fit in in Belgium? Not very well. I see. <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> This is from Bjorn in Reykjavik, Iceland. Hello. I didn't know we went out in Reykjavik, Iceland. That's all on the computer. They have a computer in Iceland? <laughs> have you ever been to Iceland? No. I feel I'm keeping you from something, Jack. <laughs> I'm bolted to this podium. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Um... Is that code? I'm bolted to this podium? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Craig, uh, we are glad that you mention our beloved city and country whenever you introduce the big cash prize. That's two. Why? What made you choose us? Oh, wow, you speaking for the entire country of Iceland? <laughs> I chose you because one reason. Sigur Ross. A great band full of lovely tweety noises. <laughs> Have you ever had Sigur Ross from Iceland? I love them. Oh, they're great, aren't they? The tweety beety beety. Nothing like them. They're good, though, aren't they? Marvellous. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Katie in Buffalo, New York. Ever been to Buffalo, New York? Got a yes, Buffalo. It's my favourite place. Oh, finally! That's great! Buffalo, you say? Why, why, why Buffalo? What do you like about Buffalo? The weather? The delicious wings? I was assembled in Buffalo. <laughs> Well, I think we've all been assembled in Buffalo. I was assembled in Skin Rash, Oklahoma. No, I thought you were from San Francisco. Oh, well, I, I moved there, but my bits and pieces were put together in Buffalo. <laughs> you must have gone to the same bar I did. There, anyway. Katie in Buffalo says, Dear Craig and Jeff, my fiancé and I are planning our honeymoon trip. Any suggestions on a romantic place where we can consummate our marriage? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, where should Hotel they... Six, perhaps? I was thinking more of something you remember for a long time. What about a dumpster? <laughs> How dare you go, ah! Uh... <laughs> I didn't really mean a dumpster. I know the perfect place. Skin rash, Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. This is from Amy in Grants Pass, Oregon. You ever been there? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hi, Craig and Jeff. Jeff. Perhaps my chip's been replaced. 
Hi, Craig and Jeff. My blind date tomorrow night is at an Indian food restaurant. <laughs> Anything I should avoid? <laughs> Everything. Huh? Everything. Everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you probably... Uh, no. The thing, I love Indian food, I do. Do you like Indian food? Yes. <laughs> really? What's your favourite Indian food to eat, skeleton robot? Rogangosht. With a vindaloo sauce. <laughs> Smeared all over me. Yeah, you, you probably want to avoid smearing yourself with a vindaloo sauce or you really will end up in Skin Rash, Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, this is from Josh in Springfield, uh, Massachusetts, who says, uh, Hey, Craig and Jeff, I like the saying, an oldie but a goodie. Can you please work that into the show? <laughs> well, I think that's... Uh... <laughs> I, I, that's kind of an... Oh, oh. An opening... That's an old, oldie. But, uh... Oh, but a goodie. Hey, it's fun to watch a grown man sweat. <laughs> Even if it's not porn. Uh, this is from John in San Diego, California. He says, hi, Craig and Jeff. My girlfriend likes us both to wear high heels while we're having sex. Hello! <laughs> is this weird? No, sir! <laughs> it's awesome! Uh, this is from Mimi in Denver, Colorado. Ever been to Denver, Colorado? Yes, I have. Oh, do you enjoy it? I loved it. Oh, that's nice. Do you like the high altitude fun? <laughs> I was in a boot of a car at the time. Ah. A boot, you say? That's what we call in America the trunk of a car. Oh, yes, forgive me. I do know you, you like it in the trunk, though, don't you? I like it in the trunk. Yeah. This is from Mimi in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> oh, that did well, didn't it? Yeah, is that just reaching you now, is it? Dear GP in the ferret, uh, that's you and me. Uh, my fiancé's mom speaks Russian. Should I learn to speak it to know what she's talking about? Seems a bit extreme. <laughs> Do you speak Russian, Jeff? Duh. I see. Anything else? Spasiba. <laughs> no, I got nothing. Oh, that amuses you, does it? Well, Jeff, we did well. I throw it to the commercial break. I think we'll be fine. Don't forget to come back. No, thank you. No, you welcome back. We'll just be a minute. You're doing great. Just, I want you to just try and loosen up a little more. Just uh, move the arm up and down a little more. The yes, head. up and down, up and down. Uh, up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> try and move your mouth at the same time as you're talking. Yes, 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 yes. Right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. Right, and, and that's pretty much yes. it. You could try moving your head from side to side. Side to side? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and talk, talk and move your head. Talk and move my head. Whoa, yes! <laughs> very, very good. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> It's almost like I read your thoughts. <laughs> My next guest is our What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Yeah! <laughs> well, how do you think it went? I think it went very well. I think it went very well, too. I was very... I was, I was uh, you know, I was cautious at first. I was a little scared. Were you? Well, I was, because I thought, you know, the tension between Scotland and England that would somehow manifest itself, you know, here in the new world. <laughs> Balls. Wait a minute. That sounds an awful lot like old Jeff in there. I suppose there's still some Jeff floating around, is there? Yes, there's some little bits of Jeff inside. <laughs> I'm picking it up on my chip. I see. Well, we call them in the States fries. <laughs> <laughs> see what I did? See what I did there? Have you been in America long? No, not long. Hmm. Long enough to be dubbed, I see. Yes. <laughs> but I've learned something tonight. Have you? I've learned some new words. Yes, what are they? Boner. 
Nipple. <laughs> Nipple's a new word? Yes. I have none. <laughs> well, Lesbian. Lesbian? Oh, well, there's, there's... Yeah, well. It's <laughs> a lesbian role right there. That's what they said. That's what they said when they come here. They're... Born of guests. Is that near Skin Rash, Oklahoma? No, no, no. It, well, it depends on the individual lesbian involved, but I... I think that Skin Rash probably is... I bet you, I'll bet you there's a town in the United States called Skin Rash. Oh, I'm sure there is. Yes, yes, and I'll bet you that town has got a mayor. <laughs> mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma? Mayor Scratchit. <laughs> and I bet you Mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma is going to get in touch with us. And he's going to say, why don't you bring the show to Skin Rash, o Oklahoma? And we'll say, well, in a way, we've always really been there. <laughs> right, Jeff? Absolutely right. You did a fantastic job, buddy. Thank you so much. Say May I call you Craig? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Thank you, English Jeff. Say good night to the folks. Good night, everyone. Good night! In fact, we've invited some celebrities to read from it. <laughs> Take a look. And now Alfred Molina reads an excerpt from Linda Cunningham's Small Town Girl. Goodbye, darling, he said, picking up his bag. I love you. I love you too, Charles. Then he turned a grin on his face. Sorry to disappoint last night. <laughs> I was just exhausted. My first guest tonight is the most talented actor in the world. He will star in Red, opening at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles on August the 1st. Please welcome the splendid Alfred Molina, everybody. Alfred Molina. It's lovely to see you, Alfred, it's the strange. greatest actor in the world. I know, I know. That's another, that's another fifty dollars well spent. I think. <laughs> hey, hey, happy birthday! It's your birthday. Yes, it's my birthday. It's, it's his birthday. Yeah. Everyone. Happy birthday! Thank you. I would, I would sing happy birthday to you, but you can't sing that song. It's very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah, I, 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 I never realised that. I thought it was one of those things that you could just sing any. No, time. no, it's a very expensive song. If you, if we were to sing that, it would cost. Ooh, uh, Hundred thousand dollars. Oh well, I'll, I'll sing it quietly to myself. No, in my don't, because then the, no, because lawyers will watch the show and go, "There, that's where he sang it to himself <laughs> in his head." What if you just mouth it? No, don't. Can't mouth even do it. that. No, 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 we can't mouth. Can't even go. Well, you could probably do that. You could. No, you have to make up a different one. You have to kind of do that one of those lame. I just did it. I just did it. May I ask? One. May I ask? Is it is it a is it a big one or a small? It's not. One? No, it's not a big one. It's not a big one. Right. Um. Um. But um, it might be bigger a bit later on. <laughs> we still talking about your birthday? Or? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Talking about you know the size of the event. It oh. might get bigger later. <laughs> I mean, at the moment, it's just two of us. Right. So it might, there may be more. You know. Well, I don't know if you're enjoying your birthday, but I am. I, I, <laughs> sounds fantastic. Hey, no. uh, the, the, the play you're doing at the Mark Tay Forum, it's about uh, Rothko. It's about it? Mark Rothko, the, yeah. uh, the, the painter. Yeah, I didn't um, care for his painting. No, you didn't? No, no, you didn't. no Is that no. why you didn't come to see it when we did it no, on Broadway? No, I, no, that wasn't the reason. <laughs> I, I, I fell. But the... Uh, <laughs> No, I didn't care for Rothko's oh, thing, right. which well, I, I'm alone and everybody else loves it. Well, I don't think that will spoil your enjoyment of the play, should you deign to come and no, see I, it. No, I'd love to come see it. I'll come, I'll see come, it, come see it. it. Uh, when, yeah. when is it on? We're up, we open August 1st at the Mark Taper Forum. Ah. Here in Los Angeles. Ah. The City of Angels. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, out of town August 1st. Are you really? Yeah, yeah. How long are you running for? Uh, for as long as it takes for you to get back. <laughs> No, of course I'll come see it. Of course I'll come see it. But I am out of town August. The have, you, have, you, have you ever been stuck in that situation where someone wants you to come and see what they're doing, and you, and you, you, you keep you start running out of excuses for not? You know, I wish I could be there, but you know my baby's not well. Well, we'll wait till you. Till, till, well, yeah, we'll wait until your baby gets better. Oh, well, then you know, then I've got um, you know the hat, the house, getting the house fixed and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. You know. You know what I hate when you do a show and then people come back afterwards and say, 
how did you enjoy it? Yeah. <laughs> then you go, oh, man. Are you a big fan of the uh, modern artist, the 20th century? What, is he a 20th century master? Yeah, 20, he, was a 20, he was a 20th century painter, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I am. I mean, there's some things, yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much. I mean, I, I can't, I mean, I enjoy a lot of art, but I mean, it's, uh, there's some stuff that you kind of go, yeah. But well, he was one of the, he, Mark Rothko is one of the guys that people really did say, oh, my kid could do that. Yeah, yeah, well, know, I, was, well yeah. I, I, I think with Rothko, he's one of the guys where you say, my dog could do that. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's abstract. I don't know why I'm suddenly feeling really defensive yeah, about Yeah, no, no, Rothko. it's all right. <laughs> it's like, no, it, he's a controversial figure in the He was a controversial yeah, figure, I mean, yeah, a lot, he was. I mean, the, he was. Uh, when Dennis Hopper, God rest him, was here, he's, and I told him I didn't like Rothko, and he owned a Rothko, I think, and he, and he said, I, I, I understand, but he's very important. Well, he was. Yes, yeah. he was important. But you're right. The, I mean, he, he's, one of those, he's one of those artists that people are never kind of, you know, on the fence about him. Right. You know, people either love him or really, really find him like a complete... F I mean, uh, we, we, had, uh, we had people coming backstage when we were doing it in New York where people would say things like, good play, but the guy was a fraud. <laughs> a total fraud. And they would be no, angry, you know, well, and you angry say, well, about it. Well, I was acting, it's not fraudulent. Well, well, exactly. I was actually pretending to be. <laughs> exactly, yeah. No, talking about, they were talking about his act. Oh, his I art. see, they weren't talking about yeah, you saying, being a fraud, you're no, not no, actually no, no, Mark no, no, Rothko. No. Yeah. Saying, saying, you know, they, they enjoyed the play, but they thought the art was, right. was just completely fraudulent. Well, what kind of art do you like? Do you like uh, 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 landscapes? Do you like nudes? Come on, everybody yeah, likes everyone a nude. Everyone likes a nude. Yeah. What's not to like? Yes, I like nudes. I like a nude on a landscape. That's what I like. Nude on a landscape. With a couple of Fluffy bunnies the on one yeah, side there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fluffy know, bunnies and fluffy then something bunnies. gambling across the yeah, field. Like, like a waggy taily dog. Ooh, a waggy taily dog, yeah. You know, something like Spending. that. You know. Yeah, waggy taily dog, naked lady. Fluffy bunnies up here. Or gentle. Or gentle. Doesn't matter. Do, uh, doesn't matter. It, well, it depends what you're doing. Equal opportunity nudes <coughs> yeah. all across the landscape. Yeah, uh, I like a bit of nudity. Yeah. 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 But not as much as you would think. You know when people <laughs> sing. <laughs> I've. You know, for a split second there, I thought this was going to be like a serious conversation. Yeah, well, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is in a way, because, you know, like nudity, I think, is it's better if you kind of just, like, you know, leave a bit. Not to the, to imag the imagination. Well, not so much to the say. imagination, it's more kind of leave the. To the sensor. <laughs> No, <laughs> like if you're na like if I'm naked, there's parts of me that look all right, and other parts of me that don't look so great. We'll so be the judge of that. Well, no. I, <laughs> all I'm saying is, if I kind of drape things over certain areas, and oh, then, yeah. you know, and leave, you know, the fog clears around Penis Island, then I think that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, you could be, yeah, 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 t tasteful nudity. Tasteful yeah, nudity. Something yeah. great, yes. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever been to a strip club? I have, yes. Did you perform? No, I didn't perform. Right. I got, I got... <laughs> No, I, 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 I was, I was stopped. Luckily, I almost did. I wanted. No, I, I did go to a strip club once when I was, I was in my late teens. Oh. And it was, uh, it was that, and it was a terribly kind of risque, dangerous thing to do. And you got to remember, strip clubs in London. Yeah, yeah. Aren't like. I'm taking my cardigan off now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, hold me pint. Yeah, yeah, hold me. Yeah. Hang on, I'll oh, just put me pint down. Right. <laughs> it was not the kind of showgirl Las Vegas type thing at all. No, it was, no, it was, no. It was really unbelievably sleazy. And yeah. I, and I, and I, and I, remember, and, and I remember kind of getting outrageously sort of overpriced drinks and in Soho oh, in London. Oh, they, that, that's where it was. The in first, Soho. Yeah, the first time I ever went to London from Scotland, I thought, oh, I'll go into a strip club and see a naked lady. And I went in, and this guy came over and he went, "Oh yeah, you buying a girl a drink?" And I went, uh, "Yeah, okay." Uh, he said, "She wants a bottle of champagne." <laughs> I went, "All right." He said. That's 200 quid. <laughs> I went, I've only got 50 quid. He went, that's 50 quid, get out. <laughs> I never even saw a naked lady, oh, didn't meet the girl. I don't think there was any girls there, it was just that guy. <laughs> they were total, total rip-off joints. They're terrible, terrible. It's not like that now, though, of course. No, now it's kind of, you know, three-course three, you know, three course dinners and yeah. uh, well, you ballet can't, parking. You can't eat at a strip club. Well, you can. No, 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 it because doesn't... that means you've given up on both food and sex. <laughs> 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 You're like, oh, yeah. Oh, um, right. Have you tried the shrimp? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Anyway, you know, I, I couldn't go now. But are there, are there old fashioned strip clubs like they used to be? I mean, I mean it's all like, it's all like lap dancing and 
poles and stuff now. Well, I, I mean, I'm sure you can still go to places where people take their clothes off. Or, uh, well, I'll, I'll do it if you give me a cup. Of, uh, <laughs> what do you, I'll buy you a very expensive bottle of yeah, champagne. I, I would like a bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we have to uh, take a break. Do we? Well, we don't have to, but it's the whole capitalism, commercials. Uh, yeah, 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 I understand. Now, you and I can continue to talk, but, you know, it, the, the network survives on these things. Absolutely. And yes. as you know, uh, CBS is uh, almost broke. <laughs> 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 uh, they've got a lot of money. Yeah, they, they do. They, they don't leave it here, obviously, but they... Uh... <laughs> Are you incredibly wealthy? Um, no. No. But I, I hope to be one day. Seems fair. I live in hope. <laughs> do you want to uh, do the commercial thing? Sure. What are we advertising? <laughs> <coughs> or just announce the break? Yeah, well, well you could just say, uh, here's a bunch of excellent products. <laughs> here's a bunch of excellent products for your selection and consideration. <laughs> I got my first AARP 11 when I was 48. Oh, that doesn't... <laughs> Ain't nothing going on here. <laughs> That's a, a cross between the little rascals and the Jedi mind trick right there. <laughs> These are not the droids you are looking for. <laughs> you a big Star Wars fan? I used to be. Yeah, I enjoyed the first two. I know what you're and saying. I, I didn't sort of like keep up with it. I, 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 I kind of felt like I'd got too old for it somehow. I know. What I, you I don't mean, mean that. I don't mean that in a disparaging way. But I just sort of didn't quite have the same sense of. I mean, the first. I, mean, I remember the first Star was what 1977. Mm, something like that. You yeah. Know, and I, I thought it was. I thought it was the greatest thing I'd ever seen. I mean, I thought Very it, was good, like, yeah. it was like cutting edge. It was just. Brilliant. And then after that, then there was that huge long gap in between movies. And I sort of like ended up. Not you know. You went to a strip club in I London. I went to strip clubs. Yeah. <laughs> And it scarred me for scarred life. Scarred you for life. You didn't want to do it anymore after that. You enjoy the science fiction, though? Do I you? do. Enjoy, yeah, a little bit of science. Yeah, I enjoy a little bit. Of, I like, I like the, all, this, all the doomy stuff. I like all, all those movies that always take place in New York. Yes. It's always like the end of the world. I like the, you know. I like the steampunk that they're doing. You know the steampunk type? Uh, no, this is new to me. Well, steampunk. But I'm an old fart. Well, so. you know, it's, it's, it's this. I'm, I don't know if I'm quite getting it right, and I'm sure there's a steampunk. lot. Steampunk. Steampunk, yeah. It's kind of like... Um, it's an, it's, is that edible? <laughs> Yeah, steampunk. It's, so a, kind of, it's, it's a, a kind of fish and you steam it and uh, <laughs> tastes a little bit like it's chicken. A, it's a, yeah. <laughs> First time I tried it was in a strip club, actually. Uh, <laughs> have you tried the steampunk? Yeah. <laughs> How much does it cost? <laughs> no, I, I do like now, that. What, what well, is steampunk? Uh, it's kind of uh, it's a, an alternate reality. Uh, it's like if, if the world exists but flying had not been invented or something like that. Oh, I so see. It, yeah. it kind of goes in that direction. It's very... Or if there's a giant robot but it's the time of the Wild West. I think that's the, the, the type Got of... Uh, I, I think... I mean, I could be wrong. Got it. That sounds uh, good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd buy that. Yeah. I'd go and see one of those. Yeah. A bit like the uh, Sherlock Holmes movies, the new Sherlock Holmes. Yes, movie. the new Sherlock Holmes movies have a bit of the steampunk, yeah, I think, absolutely. about them, yeah. That, uh, that Robert Downey Jr., he's good, isn't he? Clever chap. Yeah, very clever. <laughs> have you ever had him on your show? Oh, you he's, have, he's, you have. Because he made that great crack about, uh, about looking... He, he came on with a big moustache. Oh, he did, yeah. Uh, he said he looked like, a, he looked like a, one of the Mario brothers. Right, yeah, he did as well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you grow a moustache from time to time. I do, I'm growing one right now, as right. we speak. Is it for a, uh, it's, for a... It's for a role. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but it's not coming through. And, and also, I'm totally grey now. My beard is totally grey. So when I, when I grow my beard, yeah. it really does look as if I'm dyeing my hair. <laughs> but your hair is not dyed. No, my hair isn't dyed. But, but, it's but like, your beard, that's yeah, weird. What about weird. downstairs? Uh, grey, uh, normal colour, no, or what? The, uh... <laughs> Blonde hair, black moustache, great brown bushy beard. Ginger down, Ginger yeah. down below, yeah. good <laughs> lord! I thought I was I, I, I thought I was going to take that secret to the grave, but no. uh... good lord! Well, you know that's uh, that's a, a, a nude that I'd quite like to see. Actually, <laughs> we're, we're, we're out of time here. Do you want a you want a mouth organ, an awkward pause, or a big cash prize? Well, the, this. This is new. This is a new innovation. I'd like to try the big cash prize. Well, it's something we put in. I, th I think you'll enjoy it. It's. Uh... I've got a taxi waiting outside. I might need some cash. <laughs> a taxi in LA? Yeah. 
expensive. Did you get a DUI? <laughs> no, but I caught something off the bag, see? So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! hey, hey, hey. Well, just take me car to get yeah, off. All right. Fine. What time is it, Shadow Demon? Time Steven? for the big cash prize. <laughs> American dollars. Oh, Fifty American dollars in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign in it, just like the burglars use. Here's how how you can win. You can either uh, answer a question. Or you can guess what's in my box. Uh, what, how that works is I imagine a box in my head, and uh, I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. And you try and guess what it is. If you're right, Jeff will tell us. And if you're wrong, something awful will happen to you. I mean, even worse than being on this show. <laughs> I'm going to try and guess what's in, in my, your box. In my box? I'm <laughs> sorry, <laughs> then I'll just take my car to get yeah. off. Uh, me pine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Uh, I'm imagining a box. Jeff, do you have the box? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, what is in my box? <laughs> it's only an hour long show. I right? know. <laughs> Something to do with an island. <laughs> Can he be more specific? <laughs> um, uh, begins with a P, maybe a per 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 per. Penis island. <laughs> Jeff, is he correct? It is in fact a waggy taily dog on penis island. <laughs> Completely new, Alfred. Everything's it's changed. You haven't been here since the new studio. It's totally new. Big audience. Yeah, well. Better looking, too. Better looking audience. You should have been here last night. They were hideous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look good. I like with the sweater vest thing. Well, That's nice. It's because I'm really old now. Old and, you know, I, 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 it's a wonder I didn't come in my slippers. <laughs> Little pipe, you know. No, no, no. I, I don't think. I think this is a good look. Well, I thank you very much. Yeah, you look like um, a bear. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be in a little menagerie one day. I'll no, be no, no, not an actual bear. It's a bear. It's, you know, it's a person in the gay community who's big and attractive and manly. <laughs> no, you didn't know that. I did know that. Yes. Oh, you did. But I was trying to avoid it. Why? <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> is that new glasses too? New glasses. This is another development. You've I'm had a makeover. You no, like you... Th th everyone thinks they're an affect. I can't see a bloody thing anymore. Really? Uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. It happened like that. I couldn't believe it. Really? I woke up one morning. I thought, why is it? Why is there fog in my bedroom? <laughs> I couldn't see a bloody thing. Like, if, like take your glasses well, off. Well, I mean, I can see you. All right, then. Everything else is a little All bit right. kind of blurry. Can you see that? I can see that, but I don't quite know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just a wave. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> yeah, no, it's that. How have you been otherwise? I I've been very well. I've been very well. I've been doing this series. Uh, Monday oh, yes, mornings. Monday morning. Monday morning. What's it about, TNT. then? Is it about... It's, it's about... It's a medical show, but it's got this <laughs> added thing where it's really based around what they call the M&M meetings, the morbidity and mortality meetings, where the comedy, doctors... Then? It's a kind of comedy. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of, it's it's where the doctors have to be uh, are accountable for any mistakes and choices they made in the previous week. So you've got the all, you've got the usual kind of medical show, but there's also a kind of like a courtroom drama element to it as well. Right, and and when it's the, fabulous. Yeah, there you <laughs> When the when does the uh, the jokes then? What happens? The jokes the jokes start. Uh, well, the jokes started when they cast me. Really? Oh, no, we come were, on. No. Do you hey, are, hey, are you American again? In this? No, I'm I'm British. Oh, you you play? And it wasn't my idea. Oh. It was David Kelly's idea, which is, you know... David But Kelly? it made me laugh, because he phoned me up and he said, I think we might make the char character British. And I went, OK. And he went, one less thing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> but I was cool. I didn't say anything. Well, you know. your American accent's pretty good. It was it? OK. But I, I well, thought, you yeah. were Dr Octopus. I thought I you was, were American. I was. I was. Yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but... 
<laughs> now, what's the thing you're not allowed to say? Doc Doctopus. Doctopus. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Yeah, there's something you're not allowed to say. Like you know, uh, Spider-Man fans get very upset if you say Doctopus or uh, Doctor. I don't know. Do <laughs> There's one Doct of them you're not allowed to say. Octopus. I don't Doctopus, know. Doctor Octopus. Or I, I, well, I think at the time uh, people used to say uh, people used to say Doc Ock. Doc Ock. Yeah, and everyone kind of went, no, nah, that, that sounds ugly. Sounds ugly. But that's 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 what that became very. Well, I, you don't want a character with eight legs who's trying to kill all the good people in the movie ugly in any way, do you? I mean, no, you know, he's he was nice. ugly. He was he's, a terrifying he's, villain. He's got to be nice and attractive and thoughtful. And uh... see, I <laughs> I like villains that are nice and attractive. Yeah, well, all the, all the best ones are. Yes, all the best ones are. They Hannibal Lecter. He's always attractive. He was attractive. He was seductive. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. All the, yeah, all, all the all the best villains are the ones that kind of in a way seduce you in some way or another. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using the word in its wider context. Yeah, I like it though. It's, <laughs> it is, have you ever done that on the stage? What, playing villains? Like yeah, a smooth, villains. That smooth villain. Once or on twice, once yeah. or twice. In what? What would I know? Uh, nothing you would have known. Oh, well, come on, try me. Because you were over here. Right. And I was over there doing it in, in Britain. ten people in a garage. No, come on. You do the big theatres in Britain, don't yeah, you? The yeah. National yeah. Theatre and all do that stuff? The National Theatre, yeah. 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 But it's, uh, it, you know, it's, it's fun. Vi villains that have got a kind of... A kind of attraction. I mean, all the best villains are attractive. Hey, you know what they did? You know the the great Shakespearean villain uh, Richard the Third. Yeah, they, they dug found him they found his skeleton under a car park. Under a car park. Unbelievable. It was his actual skeleton of Richard the Third, and he didn't have a hump. No, didn't but, have but, a hump. But he did have slight a penis. A penis. Yes, of course. Yeah. He had a penis. Yeah. But he did have slight curvature of the spine. Apparently. Did he really? Yeah, yeah. So he so there's a little element of truth in it. And they did this mock up of his face. Yeah. And he looked. Just Pretty like ordinary, a, yeah. Just like I know. Dude, really, I, know. Yeah. I, I kept thinking, who's gonna? I, I, I saw that. I saw that uh, that computerized image of his face, and I suddenly kept started thinking, I wonder who's gonna play him. And I looked at, it, and I thought, it's Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon would be Matt an Damon's excellent Shakespearean him. villain. Matt, Matt Damon is gonna play Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? In the movie? Why not? But isn't it sad when they find you under a bleeding car park? It's kind of well, you know, he shouldn't have done that thing. That's totally it. It, it. It's a gangster's ending. Isn't well, it? it's kind so, of a little bit. Totally, yeah. oh, totally. I don't know. When were you back then? Uh, the in Britain? Oh, the last time I was there was around about this time. Yeah, this time last year, I did a uh, movie for the BBC. BBC. Yeah, that's where the money is. That's all. <laughs> 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 that, that's what they think. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're worse than CBS, those bastards, I tell you. The BBC, you're working for the BBC? Well, uh, how much can you afford to pay us? Uh, <laughs> exactly. They really yes. like that. It right? won't be much, Alfred, but there'll be some marvellous kudos for you. Yeah, there'll be kudos <laughs> for you. And there'll be great snacks and tea. There'll Kudos's be uh, plenty of yeah. tea yeah. Yeah. throughout the production. <laughs> tea will be running oh, hot. There's no, there's no craft service over there. I mean, they, they, you know, they, whatever, whatever the snacks are is whatever that was on sale at Costco that morning. Really? <laughs> You know, so it's like all the peanuts you could eat, or all the you know, all the red vines you can eat. Oh, I like it. red vines. You Me like too. Red. Oh, Me I too. Like make, red they make you poop, though. They make you poop. Yeah, too many red vines <laughs> right through. <laughs> like, pate, noise. like pate through a goose. <laughs> Do that noise again. <laughs> you want to work that into your medical drama. <laughs> yes. What's the prognosis, Doctor? Oh, I think it's a... <laughs> right. Yeah, he's, he's done. <laughs> do you like it here, though? I do, actually. Yeah, I do yeah, like, I it, like yeah. it. I, I okay. like it. I mean, you know, it's... it's uh, I always think... You know, it's been it's been wonderful. We've been here for 20 years now, Good and grief. it's been really fantastic. And, I, and I'm I'm very. You've lost uh, your accent. You sound very totally, yeah, totally, you totally lost my accent. But it, yeah, it's been wonderful. We love Do it. People say that to you when you go home. Well, every time I go back home, someone always says, "Oh, you sound so American." But I don't think I sound American no, I, at all. I get that when I go home as well. I say, "Oh, you sound American." You look at you with your eye, your teeth. <laughs> 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 And then the what somebody said to me, oh, you're <laughs> Scottish when it suits you. And I went, what does that mean? Uh. You know what it means. <laughs> it means, it means I shut it, hate you, is what it means. <laughs> but I have noticed, though, that I've, I've become a bit more... It, I, I, since I've been here, I've, the little the little things that sort of dis seem to define the English over here have become a bit more, in, you know, like I, I get a bit... Making tea has become a bit of a fetish. Really? Yeah, whereas when I was at home... What I'd do you wear when you make tea? <laughs> 
<laughs> a French maid's uniform. Yeah, that, that, that would be considered a fetish, yeah. Yes, and a big feather boa. Mm -hmm. No, but, you know, in England, I never... I, I'd, throw, I'd throw a tea bag in a mug, pour some hot water on it, and that'd be it. That'd be it. Mm. But here I'm kind of going, oh, no, no, warm the pot. Warm the pot. Oh, no, no, milk goes in first. You know, I suddenly become, like, really sort of... Uh, I, I think I'm Crikey. David Niven. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you, I know you can't cuss on this show. I think will happen, won't it? No, they'll pixelate your mouth. You want to grow your beard a bit longer, then. <laughs> <laughs> then you can say, Crikey. All day long on TV. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Alfred Molina, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, that's my kids over there. Yeah, I put them, I put them there uh, to remind me some nights. You know, I should look at them and just go, oh yeah, that's why I do this. No, oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's that's nice. That's nice. I mean, what age are yours now? Oh my goodness, my daughter's thirty-two. <laughs> so out of diapers then? Yeah, really? yeah. yeah. Uh, only just. <laughs> yeah, my two stepsons are in their forties. My grandkids are now like nine and six. Wow. So it's, you know, yeah, time flies. You went early, man. Well, no, my daughter went early. Oh, uh, well, there is that. <laughs> hey, um, did you get your tattoo yet? No, no, you're right. I, talk, no, I, yeah. I, I bottled out. I lost my nerve. I have five, I lost, Have you really? Five. Like, see, I, I, I actually did go as far. I think the last time I was here, we talked about it. And I did actually go as far as going past the tattoo store. This, you know, this little, <laughs> the parlor. Right. And it was kind of... Around about 11.30 at night. Nice time for it. Kind yeah. of. And, it was, and there were a few people in there. Mm -hmm. And there was a guy, he, he had his, he was like lying back a bit like this. And he had his arm on a sort of, like on a thing, resting yeah. his arm. And the, and the tattoo artist was working on it. And as I, as I was looking through the window, the guy doing the tattooing just did this. He, he just sort of went. <laughs> and gave me this real look like, who the what the hell, you know, and I, and I just went, and, I, and I'm outside, and I actually went, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and carried on walking. And as I was walking away, I suddenly thought, I, I, what am I, who am I kidding? Well, I, no, I, well, there's no way I'm going to get a tattoo. Yes, you will. Once you get your first tattoo, when the guy looks up at you and looks at you like that, you look back at him and you go, sup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, check yeah, it yeah. out. Yeah. No, I think it's time. But to maybe, I think it's time. Maybe, I think it's maybe. I think you needed the, the fox hunt scenario on your back. <laughs> <laughs> like you're a giant fox hunt and the fox's tail disappearing in your butt crack. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big one for your first uh, one. Maybe just, you know, your I wife's to, name or yeah, something first. I, I said to my wife, because when, when we first talked about it, I said to Jill, I think I might get a tattoo. And she went... Well, what are you going to have on your tent? And, and I said, well, I want to do something, something. And then I suddenly thought about song titles that I really liked. Oh, okay. And one of the song titles that I've always thought was really, really cool was Elvis Costello's song, What's So Funny About Peace, Love and Understanding. That's a lot of words. It is. Yeah. And I thought, I'll have that as a tattoo. Sweet What's tattoo. so funny about peace, love and... I thought, that's a nice message. Yes. It's something I certainly approve of. Right. And then <laughs> I'm explaining it to Jill, and there's this long pause, and she goes... You pretentious bastard. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well. And I went... Yeah. Like, you know. Did you do a... Or did you go... I got, <laughs> no, the idea went... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out of time. Do you want a coconut? Yeah, why not? All right, there you are. You can take it home. You don't want to open oh, it here. God, it gets you. everywhere. No, I don't want to open it here. Ooh, yeah. nice and weighty. Yeah, you want two? Plenty of water. <laughs> yeah, I'll take two. Yeah, yeah, yeah well. <laughs> Oh, we well, enjoy lovely. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Happy Molina, everybody! I just need a few seconds. A, a terrific actor, really a very, very good, very, like very, very good actor. He's the best. He's, He's the, the best. best. He's the best actor <laughs> in the in the world. In the world, he is the best actor in the world. No, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best actor in the world. <laughs> he stars in Matador, which premieres July the 15th on the El Rey Network. Uh, take a look at this. Well, see what I tell you. Oh, <laughs> Alfred Molina, everybody. <laughs> Le 
pleasure to see you, it's Mr. So nice Molina. To, nice I haven't seen you, you in such a long time. A couple of years. You're kidding, is yeah, that long? Yeah, a couple of years. Yeah. Good well, you look yeah. well. I thought maybe I'd said something. <laughs> or not. Not on this show. <laughs> I think you're right. I like your, your suit looks very Thank nice. You. Thank you. It's very dis 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 distinguished. Well, I like to dress up for your show because I think you deserve it. Well, thanks very much indeed. I, I re and I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, I came, I, I came on once with a, sh with a, I came on once with a short sleeve shirt and a kind of like a woolly vest thing, and you, su you took the crack out of me. So oh, uh, <laughs> I thought that's, that's not going to happen again. Well, no, and well, I'm glad to see you've, <laughs> you've dressed appropriately tonight, and I. And I hope the court appearance goes well yeah, too. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is actually my this is actually my probation suit. Well, it's it's very good. Uh, you you look well. Have you been doing a lot of uh, keep fit or something? No, no. I've lost a little bit of weight, and I saw that clip, and I, th I thought, <laughs> big chubby cheeks. Well, no, no. Yeah, but, you know, I've I've been trying to lose. You know, I'm, I'm sort of you know I'm 61 now. I've got to try. Stop it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I got. I want to stay. I want to be. I want to be alive for. You know, I want to dance at my grandkids' weddings. You know what I mean? So right. Do you do you dance a lot? No, I dance terribly. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's every grandfather's duty to really embarrass their grandkids. Well, yes. I, it, it, uh, first of all, as a parent and then a grandparent, you really want to kind of. <laughs> yeah, I want. I want to be like, come on, girl, come on, let's get out, come on, dance. Yeah. Right and also, what I'm looking forward to in my dotage is being really filthy, and then people go, oh, that's adorable. That's you know, like, like <laughs> smell my finger. <laughs> Like, oh, granddad. Yeah. Oh. I used to do that in my 20s, though. Yeah, you know, I did too. <laughs> yeah, I know. You did it to me. I see where I go. So, um, I, I like this. Uh, now, this show, Matador, it's about uh, bull, bull fighting. No, 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 it's nothing to do with bull fighting. Nothing to do with bull fighting. It's, uh, hiya. I love it. Yeah, hey, baby. I like the, it's, um. I didn't know you knew each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we go back a long way. But both ends? Both ends. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an equal opportunity. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> no, it was, um, it, it's about, it centers around a, a young soccer star who's playing for a, an, an, a team in LA, the LA Riot, and he's also a kind of agent for a government department. Oh, wait, I, it's one of those two job TV right, shows. Right, right. Ah, yeah. And he's I play, like, he's a that, but yeah. he's also a that. Yes. yes. I play the owner of the team, and I'm, oh, right. also, I'm also and the, are you, a nefarious bad guy. You, you, I can tell you're a bad guy because oh, yeah. you said Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. Yeah, my character's uh, you know, from Mexico. Oh, that's, have you ever been there? I have. I've been there several times. <laughs> I've been there several times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, I've never, but I've never been to Japan. No, oh, I've been. Oh, I love Japan. I just I went know. recently. I know. Oh, I liked it yeah. very much. Not that I didn't like Mexico. Mexico is lovely too. It's just a completely different experience. Completely, yeah. completely different. Yeah, yeah. I, but know. nothing funny happens in Mexico after one o'clock in the morning, unless you're in Tijuana. <laughs> Depends on what you do. You know, <laughs> define funny. Uh, <laughs> it's also if you survive certain things, then yeah, they can be yeah. funny later on. Well, when yeah. I, 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 went to, I went to shoot a movie there, and I remember being told, don't eat the food from the street vendors. And I did nothing but eat the food from the street vendors. I never got sick. It was wonderful. Really? What kind of food did you eat there? You no, know, tacos and, you know, sort yeah, of... Yeah, I've done that in Tijuana well. as well. It's yeah, fine. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I was I, in Mexico City, which was really amazing. I've never been there. I quite yeah. fancy oh, that. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. What were we doing there? Another film? Doing a movie, yeah. See, that's yeah. the life of an actor. You see, you get to see the world but from, you know, film things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from inside your trailer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> there is that. I mean, but don't you try and get out and get to oh, see yeah, part yeah. of it? Oh, yeah, I'm quite... I, th I, I like to think of myself as reasonably adventurous, and I'll go out and... I've heard check you things. are, yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's... Uh, I, I loved it. I loved it. I mean, I, I, I haven't... I don't travel so much now anymore, but it, it was... Uh, I, used to, I used to love going on location. Now, where, Molina, where are your... Uh... Spanish father, mm -hmm. Italian mother... Right. Born in England, raised in England, now a citizen of the United States. So that's... Uh, you're pretty much an American then, really. Pretty yeah, yeah. <laughs> Been here 20 years. So, yeah, I think of myself as American. So who do you... Uh, are you watching the World Cup? Soccer? I'm torn. You can imagine. I love the World Cup. I'm a big soccer fan. I love it. But I, I'm, I'm sort of torn. I, I, I watch all my options dwindling away. Yeah, well... <laughs> Spain? Spain went Gone. first, then and England. England? Uh, you know, the USA... I don't, know if they're, I don't know if they're still in or not. I think they might still be... I think most honest. people in America don't know if they're in or not. Yeah. <laughs> So it's, uh, you know, but it's... I like uh, watching people in L.A. pretending to know about soccer. <laughs> I, 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 I really liked it when that guy uh, kicked the thing. <laughs>
That was really intense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, but they get. I, I've noticed a lot of my American friends get very frustrated when they see like a nil-nil score. Well, that's because you know, they, they, they think, what's the point? What's the point of a game where there's no score? You think, well, yeah, but the, the game itself, there's a beauty in the game. There's, there's elegance. There's skill. You know. Yeah, no, nah, none of that, man. <laughs> nah. No, what they, they're going to have to do is introduce some kind of t-shirt cannon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or, or when, when one side gets the ball, they have to go, dun, 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 charge! Dun, dun, dun. And then it will work, that's and then Americans will be like, OK, yeah. that's a game. Yeah. Yeah. Have you noticed? But it's, it's starting to happen already, because when a goal is scored, yeah. the, time, the, the, the length of time that they take to celebrate that goal is getting longer. Yeah, longer. it's getting longer. But, you know, when, when, I, when I was a kid, it was like, you know, the player would score, spit, and then run back and start. Yeah, no, it's like... <laughs> Well, now like, scratch yeah. the nuts and then <laughs> off you go, yeah. <laughs> now it's like they're running around, they're doing dance moves, they're, you know... Yeah, that'll stop, though, because that, that, that was in the NFL and they made them stop doing it. Did they? Oh, yeah, Why the NFL, they, they used Why? to be, like, a touchdown and then it was, like, moonwalking. Why did they stop and, it? Uh, I don't know, I think it was getting... Uh, what was the problem with it? Uh, Taking too long? Yeah, I think it... No, it's not that. I mean, American football, we got all day, you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it, do you do you watch the yeah, NFL? Yeah, I'm, I'm, no, not NFL. No, I, American football. I, I can't get into it. I, I don't. I don't understand how the game works. I can't understand baseball either. <laughs> oh, don't pity me. Don't pity. Me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a complicated game. <laughs> no, that I'm, guy hits it. These people run around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like, but I've been to a few sporting events, which I, love. I mean, I love, I love the, uh, I love the event. I love the, you know, the. the Baseball for me is the one that I think doesn't translate well to TV. I think it's better to, uh, to go there. But the football, I like watching football on TV. The thing I haven't done, which I'd love to do, is go and see a live basketball match game. Well, you'd like to do that. Yeah, you have uh, the opportunity to do that in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah. 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 But I we don't know to, who to support. Um, well, I would go with uh, whoever's winning. Yeah. Uh, that'll make you a true Los Angelino. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whoever's, whoever's when winning. I, when I first came to live in LA, the Clippers were regarded as this kind of terrible team. That's right, I remember that. But now they're doing well, right? They're doing quite well? Yes. Uh, Apart from certain the whole, area, Yeah, yeah. not other areas. It's, uh, and the Lakers... Mm. But, they, uh, not, not but they'll, you know, it'll all... Hakuna Matata, the circle of life, however it is. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Alfred Moyer. <laughs> Know. You know, we'll see. Oh, we're back. We're back. So we were just uh, talking about stuff, you know, things yeah. and that. Yeah, it was quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, better knock that in the head right yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Can't have, can't have any of that. Yeah, yeah. Have you been back to the old country recently? No, yes, yes. Oh, I really? went, yes, I went back. Uh, I went back in uh, in February, uh, end of February, beginning of March. Yeah. Uh, what did you do there then? Just spent some time with my grandkids and. You, you have know. grandchildren, really? I do. Yeah, I've got uh, Alfie's ten and uh, Layla's <laughs> eight. He's going to be 11 this year. He's going to be 8 and then 11? No, no, no. La Alfie's going to be 11. Layla, my granddaughter, is, is 11. Oh, right, OK. Well, that, that's... Uh, I mean, you must, you must moisturise or something, because you look very well. <laughs> really? no, all that, you know, all that stuff our parents told us about pills and liquor? Yeah. It's not true. They really work. <laughs> CBS Co. <laughs> <laughs> the views expressed by Alfred Molina in no way reflect the CBS Corporation <laughs> or in any of its affiliates, for legal reasons, of course. Anyway, we're, uh, we're out of time. Are we? Really? So yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, I guess, yeah. Fancy an awkward pause? Why not? All right. Fred Molina's? He's he, awesome. He comes back on the show. Does he? Yeah, I don't think he has an Oscar, though. No. But he's good, though. He is awfully good. He is very good. Yeah, I nearly made out with him once. 
Really? In a sketch, yeah. Did you? He was playing Sherlock Holmes and I was playing Angela Lansbury. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, oh. you know, that's guys. Like, I'd right. love to yeah, we'll see that. It. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's uh, he comes in and he's playing old Sherlock Holmes, and I was playing Angela Lansbury, who, you know, for the purposes of what we do here, bears a striking resemblance to Sir Paul McCartney. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of had to be there, right, is yeah, what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I nearly made out with him. Her lips were like this close. Oh, isn't he lovely? Yes, yeah. But when he gets that close, then I started to think, oh, maybe not that lovely. He's awfully tall. <laughs> Very tall, Very tall and, uh, and large. Lovely minty breath, though. Yes. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't notice that. No, he was playing your dad for God's mm, sake. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. He's a hugger, though. He gives. He is a hugger. Yeah, he's, he's friend, hugger. friendly, friendly. A little too friendly. <laughs> With me, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're out of time. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of acted it a little bit to that point, but at a certain point, I went, oh, I feel the same. And, <laughs> and I think that it, it makes it a lot easier to do the job when you have right, a complete right, disregard yeah. to whether you keep it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, th I think there's, there's, a lot to, there's a lot to be said for that. Yeah, absolutely. I know. I mean, I'm sure I'll regret it deeply once I get -la -la! out of here, but until then... <laughs> yeah. Well, every time I get every time I get a phone call from you know at work and that somebody they'll say, oh, uh, Fred, uh, you know the producers would like to talk to you or the director. I was there's always a part of me that thinks I'm going to get fired. Have you ever been fired? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I've been fired. For what? Excellence? No. Oh, thank you, Roger. <laughs> That's very nice. Ah, uh, you know, I yes, always uh, like that. Uh, I might. Uh, can I quote you? I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'm going to do that next time. Yeah. I got fired for being really good. <laughs> no, I got. Yeah, I've been fired, and and it's not. It's never very nice. But there's always that moment of of you sort of you know you kind of go, well, I I didn't want this job anyway. Right. Yeah. And then you decide to make an entry, make an exit. You know, you kind of like. You know, and I remember once I got fired, and I I picked up my coat, and I thought I'd give it a bit of a flourish. You know, like <laughs> I didn't care. And I picked up my coat, and I managed to knock a bottle of water over, all over, the person who had been trying to save my job. Ah. Uh. The, the one person in the room who was yeah. kind of saying, oh, please reconsider, please, you know, give him a chance. Give him a chance? <laughs> and I grab oh, like fire a Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear, that is... Well, awful. actors, though, deal with that kind of rejection all the time, though, really. I mean, they you, do. you, they you do. learn a part and you go up and you audition. Well, I don't suppose you do much in the way of auditioning now, but, I mean, they, they, you audition for a part and then they kind of reject you right there. That's in, right. In the moment. That's, That's right, why yeah. I would never let, uh, you know, any of my boys be actors when they're kids. Because, uh, you know, if they say you want to be actors, I say, well, you have to wait till you're grown up you know I love you but the answer is no mm. because that's what you're gonna hear most more than anything else when you're an actor I they love you but the answer is yeah. no but you develop you develop a bit of a thick skin to it you know but it's it, it's never pleasant no you know you kind of uh, you deal with it but it's never it's never pleasant to be told you know no it's, you know, it's horrible but yeah, no, it's uh, awful it's, by, it's like being rejected by a girl you didn't want to sleep with in the first place <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to take your word for that <laughs> oh, it's happened to me many times, Alfred. <laughs> uh, we're kind of, uh, we're low on time. Would you fancy an awkward pause or harmonica? Let, let's have an awkward pause. Awkward pause, really? Uh, you surprised me. Because we did the harmonica last time I was here. Oh, we did. I, I, but I've, I've always wanted to do the awkward pause. Well, the awkward pause is, you know, one that I relish doing with actors such as yourself. Yeah. But I wonder if we could probably approach an awkward pause with maybe a subtext. Let's try that. Uh, sexual? Okay. Or... Uh, we could try for smell my finger, awkward pause. Let's go for the subtext. Subtext, sexual yeah. subtext, awkward pause. I might throw a smell my finger into that. All right. All right. <laughs> By murder! That's poppycock. It's exactly the same thing. All right, all right, I promise I won't say it anymore. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yes. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cherie. Sorry, I thought I was in a musical. No. <laughs> Let's look at the clues. All right. First of all, a recently fired gun. Oh, that begs the question. Now, you say it and you're fired. I won't say it. I won't say it. <laughs> oh, God, blimey. Get out. You're, you're useless to me. Really? Useless? What if I told you I could prove this isn't a murder? It's a suicide. <laughs> Pish, tosh, bish, bosh, bosh. What I'm saying is you couldn't possibly prove that. Really? Really? Well, consider all the clues. That lamp. Mm -hmm. It's July. Mm. I've got back fat. And <laughs> there's a suicide note. Look. <laughs> look. Look at that. 
Yes, I didn't like it here, so I killed myself. Yes! <laughs> that's... that's really... Ay, caramba! Stupid! <laughs> yes? Ooh la la! Stupid, but yes. also brilliant! Yes, you're right! It's stupid, but brilliant! It's like it came all the way round! The other side! Yes. It's like if it's, it's like the Tootsie Fruitsie. Between stupid and brilliant. Yes, yes. Or to put it another way, it's an SBB. It, SBB? Stupid but, but brilliant. brilliant. Yes. Oh, very good. I like when you say things and then stop saying them and just say the first letters of them. Yes, it's an old... Uh, it's, uh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It's a way of getting out of trouble. Yes. I think it's a BX. Five, three, O, oh, T, one. I suppose the B's for bollocks. Yes, yes absolutely. Know. You know, when I think about it, we make an amazing tea. Yes. Is that your hand on my buttocks? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> well, it's not him. No, uh, no, we can still work together. No, we can't work together. Oh, well, make your mind no, up. We I don't know where we're going. We here. can't work together because of... Oh, I know. Sexual tension. No. <laughs> no, it's elementary, my dear she-male. I don't find... <laughs> I don't find you attractive. Really? Not according to your pipe? <laughs> yes, I... I suppose I am attracted a... in a little bit. I've never seen my pipe quite so straight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think it's ambitiously large as well. Yes. Not sure if I should put it in my mouth now. <laughs> well, I'm not putting it in mine! <laughs> Please welcome Alfred Molina, everybody. Alfred Molina. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. It's very nice. Where should Hotel you Six, perhaps? I was thinking more of something you remember for a long time. What about a dumpster? How dare you go, ah! Uh... I didn't really mean a dumpster. I know the perfect place. Skin Rush, Oklahoma. Yeah. This is from Amy in Grants Pass, Oregon. You ever been there? No. Okay. Uh, hi, Craig and JF. JF. Perhaps my chip's been replaced. Hi, Craig and Jeff. My blind date tomorrow night is at an Indian food restaurant. <laughs> Anything I should avoid? Everything. <laughs> huh? Everything. Everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you probably... Uh, no. The thing, I love Indian food, I do. Do you like Indian food? Yes. <laughs> really? What's your favourite Indian food to eat, skeleton robot? Rogangosht. <laughs> With a vindaloo sauce. <laughs> Smeared all over me. Yeah, you, you probably want to avoid smearing yourself with a vindaloo sauce or you really will end up in Skin Rash, Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, this is from Josh in Springfield, uh, Massachusetts, who says, uh, Hey, Craig and Jeff, I like the saying, an oldie but a goodie. Can you please work that into the show? <laughs> well, I think that's... Uh... <laughs> I, I, that's kind of an... Oh, oh. An opening... That's an old, oldie. But, uh... Oh, but a goodie. Hey, it's fun to watch a grown man sweat. <laughs> Even if it's not porn. This is from John in San Diego, California. He says, hi, Craig and Jeff. My girlfriend likes us both to wear high heels while we're having sex. Hello! <laughs> is this weird? No, sir! <laughs> it's awesome! Uh, this is from Mimi in Denver, Colorado. Ever been to Denver, Colorado? Yes, I have. Oh, do you enjoy it? I loved it. Oh, that's nice. Do you like the high altitude fun? <laughs> I was in a boot of a car at the time. Ah. A boot, you say? That's what we call in America the trunk of a car. Oh, yes, forgive me. I do know you, you like it in the trunk, though, don't you? I like it in the trunk. Yeah. This is from Mimi in Denver, Colorado. 
<laughs> oh, that did well, didn't it? Yeah, is that just reaching you? Firm eyebrows. You've got very kind of... <laughs> you've got, you know, you've got eyebrows that, that kind of say, I'm here That's and right. I'm not yeah. going anywhere else. Yes. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, my wife told me once. She said, "You know, you know, in that scene you did, when you, your eyes, your eyebrows, they started doing like a little tango across your forehead." Yeah. Yeah. Try and calm down. Do you, now, do your eyebrows work independently from the rest of your body, or do you? Do you sometimes find they just like fly off into some kind of? It depends on the invitation. Depends on what's on. You know, what's. Right. But I, mean, I can, I can raise one eyebrow, like that. Yeah. But I can't raise. I both. can't raise the other one. <laughs> You know, what? I'm a one, I'm a one, I'm a, a monobrow actor. I, I, I can't do both. No, I can raise one eyebrow, as I will show you. Yeah. Right. That's that's, can you raise the other one though? No, I can't. And but what's interesting thing is something weird happens in my testicles when I raise one eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> like I, yeah, you know when the doctor says turn your head and cough. Yes. That's yes. the thing that happens in my testicles when I raise one eyebrow. <laughs> and every time I do it in the doctor's, he's like, I've never seen that before. I'm like, well, that's, that's just who I am, doc. <laughs> Well, I think that, well, the weird thing is when you raised your eyebrows, something started happening in my You testicles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't explain that. Yeah, well, I think, I think you can explain it. I think you know exactly what that is. <laughs> hey, uh, in the film, that's the, that's the sexy werewolf you're acting with right yeah, there. Yeah, Taylor Lautner. Absolutely. Wonderful, wonderful young man. Yeah, it was yeah. great fun. It was great, you know, is he as hairy in uh, real life or...? No. No, I, in f I'm not sure if he take. Uh, he tends to, he, I think he takes his shirt off sort of quite a lot in the Twilight Yeah. Movie. I don't remember if he takes his shirt off in our movie. He may not. Now, having said that, that might actually mean that, you know, half the audience aren't going to bother to No, out. no, I think, but, I've got a feeling that the way that, you know, the young gentleman's working at the moment, it'll be in his contract, shirt off. Shirt off, Shirt yeah, off yeah. in the movie. Yeah, but I don't, he's not a hirsute man. He's not, oh, uh, you know, he's, no, he's no. not like a, you know, sort of. Hairy. He's not hairy. Right, yeah. <laughs> are you, are you a hairy downstairs gentleman? Um, well. <laughs> In the uh, in the Chappie Garden area, yes, yes, oh, yes, yeah. yes reasonably. But um, I'm st I've started to go grey. I've noticed a little snow in the basement myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I made a terrible mistake. I made, I made a terrible. You didn't die. No, no, I made a terrible mistake. I I allowed myself one moment of vanity, and I decided to maybe pluck out this one grey hair. Are you insane? It <laughs> I've never known pain like that. That's, that's pain which men I are thought, not built for. I thought right? I'd taken my scrotum with it. Yeah. It was like, ah, it was over. It was horrible. <laughs> I think another Peabody's on the way, don't you think? <laughs> I'm we call them in the States fries. <laughs> See what I did? See what I did there? Have you been in America long? No, not long. Mm. Long enough to be dubbed, I see. Yes. <laughs> but I've learned something tonight. Have you? I've learned some new words. Yes, what are they? Boner. <laughs> Nipple. Nipple's a new word? Yes. I have none. <laughs> well, Lesbian. Lesbian? Oh, well, there's, there's... Yeah, well. It's a lesbian role right there. That's what they said. That's what they said when they come here. They're... One of guests. Is that near Skin Rash, Oklahoma? No, no, no. It, well, it depends on the individual lesbian involved, but I... I think that Skin Rash probably is... I bet you, I'll bet you there's a town in the United States called Skin Rash. Oh, I'm sure there is. Yes, yes, and I'll bet you that town has got a mayor. <laughs> mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma? Mayor Scratchit. <laughs> and I bet you Mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma is going to get in touch with us. And he's going to say, why don't you bring the show to Skin Rash, Oklahoma? And we'll say, well, in a way, we've always really been there. <laughs> right, Jeff? Absolutely right. You did a fantastic job, buddy. Thank you so much. Say May I to... call you Craig? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Thank you, English Jeff. Say good night to the folks. Good night, everyone. Good night! In fact, we've invited some celebrities to read from it. <laughs> Take a look. And now Alfred Molina reads an excerpt from Linda Cunningham's Small Town Girl. Goodbye, darling. 
he said, picking up his bag. I love you. I love you too, Charles. Then he turned, a grin on his face. Sorry to disappoint last night. I was just exhausted. My first guest tonight is the most talented actor in the world. He will star in Red, opening at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles on August the 1st. Please welcome the splendid Alfred Molina, everybody. Alfred Molina. It's lovely to see you, Alfred, it's the strange. greatest actor in the world. I know. I know. That's another, that's another $50 well spent, I think. <laughs> hey, hey, happy birthday. It's your birthday. Yes, it's my... Oh, very nice. How are you? I'm very well. Really? Very, well. very nice to be back. Very well, it's nice. very nice to have you back. What have you been up to? Litter bug. Oh, yeah, that's all right. I, I actually, it looks very cool. I throw it away, yeah. and then during the commercial break, I have to tidy it up. <laughs> you don't you have someone who goes back No, there. no, this isn't real television. I have to go out and actually do it myself. <laughs> do you, did you have a nice Father's Day? I had a very nice Father's Day. Yeah. Um, uh, my, my stepson sent me a very nice message, and uh, got, you know, it was lovely. I, I didn't get, I didn't get a message from my daughter in England, because they don't, there isn't a Father's Day in England. Not a Father's Day at all? No, no. It's a, Apparently, it's a completely Hallmark made-up thing. Do Hallmark advertise on CBS? <laughs> 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 if they do, I don't think that's true. And if they don't, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't, do you know what? They may have one now. But, yeah, they, yeah, they might do but, one. So she's soon. not in the US. Yeah, no, I, I, the Mother's Day thing. There's a Mother's Day in uh, in the UK, but it's a different different day. day that's right. Yeah, because my right. mother phoned me up on, when it was Mother's Day there, but it wasn't Mother's Day. Well, here. if you're really smart and you've got the air miles, you can get both of them. Ah, oh, no, yeah. I, I can't do that. No, you can't. Uh, no, I'm suggesting it for your mother. No, oh, your mother could she do. could come over. Yeah, she could come over here, enjoy Mother's Day here, then fly back for her Mother's Day and back home. <laughs> French! <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, hello, I'm here for Other Mother's Day! <laughs> you know, she called me up when it was Mother's Day in Scotland, but not here, and she said, Oh, it's Mother's Day over here, but it's not over there, so I know it's all right that you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, It doesn't matter because I'm in so much pain anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Uh, so, d yeah. do you go back and forward a lot? Then, I do, yeah, because I've got grandkids now. So, you know, I go. Grandkids? Back, yeah, I do, yeah, I've got a four year old and a two year old. Wow. Yeah, and, and the great thing about being a grandparent is that you suddenly discover that you. They, they, people talk about the special bond between grandparents and their grandchildren. Right. And of course, the truth is you have a common enemy. Ah, yeah. So, you kind of bond against, against the pencil movement. That's right, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and now, of course, as soon as you sort of break the ice and mention that to other grandparents, you suddenly hear all these stories about. The way that grand I heard a wonderful story the other day, a friend of mine told me that his grandfather used to give him like tons of pocket money. Like, I mean, he'd get maybe like a couple of dollars a week from his dad, but his, his granddad would give him like 50 bucks. What? <laughs> and he'd say, Don't tell your father. <laughs> And it was like this, and, and, and of course, and so the father would say, uh, "Hey, guess what, kids? Grandpa's coming around. They'll all be going crazy." Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, oh, "It's so great. You love my dad so much. I'm so happy." <laughs> and it was just like, and they would just, and, and, and when Granddad would arrive, the grand grandkids would have to stand up to welcome him. <laughs> <laughs> my entire body. <laughs> <laughs> So you were in uh, New York doing the play. It was very hot over there. It was, was very hot. It, it? it was starting to get hot. It didn't quite yeah. get as hot as it ended up. Like it wasn't quite at the height of the summer. But were you here last hot. week when it got to yeah, 120 or I something? I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, very, I very hot. burst into flames. Did you really? <laughs> Kind of flaming yeah, in a yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I understand. Do I mean, you have the same problem? I, everybody thinks I'm gay because of my accent. <laughs> Yeah, I think, pe I think people make the assumption that if you sound vaguely European, yeah. you're gay. Yeah. And it's interesting because nine times out of ten, you probably are. Probably are, yeah. yeah. But the thing is, that one percent that we belong to, you're right. we kind of get, mm -mm. we're all, mm, mm. Yeah. you know, we're all, we're all tarred <laughs> with the same brush, you know what I'm saying? 
But, it, but the worst thing Have you ever been tarred by a brush? Never been tarred by a brush, no. <laughs> But I've been brushed by a tar once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, yeah. That's almost the gayest thing I've ever said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost the almost, gayest thing you've ever almost. said. Almost. Why is almost. it funny to pretend to be gay sometimes? I don't. It's just. It's just. One, it is funny. It's yeah. Fun, it it's funny. I, I don't know what it is because I mean I in no way mean disrespect to the gay community no, by me doing that. I, I, no, I really well, don't. But. It's because they've got the best jokes. They've got the best music. They've got the best clothes. You know. Yeah, it's true. And the furniture's neat. And everything. For, yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, everything's great. <laughs> Best parades. I mean, if you look at the history of parades, like Gay Pride Parade versus, you know, Shriners Parade. Oh, I'd, I'd rather go to the Gay Pride Parade. Yeah, I mean, I'd be like, um, I'm here, not really yeah. queer, but I enjoy myself. I, when we got our when we got our house renovated, I was showing some friends around all everything that we'd done, and yeah. we had these new bathrooms put in, and I had this nice, which I thought was like a really nice bathroom, and th these friends of mine came to see who were gay, and they walked into the bath, they went, they looked at the bath, and they said, oh. This is a gay man's dream. <laughs> and I, I was really flattered. Yes! That, that, means, I thought, that means I've got pretty good taste. <laughs> and I found myself going, really? <laughs> <laughs> I was delighted. So you've had your house renovated then? I had my house renovated, yeah. This is like yeah. a talk show. It's, it's just like, you know, it's almost just like a talk show. Yeah, right. I used to watch talk shows and people come on and say, oh yeah, you just had your house renovated. Are you actually up? But in those days, they all used to smoke. Smoke, yes. That was the I saw, I saw some old reruns of, of some early talk shows from like right. the, the, the 60s. And it was amazing. People were like lighting up and smoking. Oh, doing lines of coke off <laughs> the tail. Like, so, uh, tell me about this <laughs> Easy Rider thing. <laughs> oh, it sounds like a good movie. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, bring I, uh, talking. Yes, 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 yes. Right, right, right. right. Yes, yes, yes. Right, and, and that's pretty yes. much it. You could try moving your head from side to side. Side to side. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and talk, talk and move your head. Talk and move my head. Whoa! Yes. Very, very good. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> it's almost like I read your thoughts. <laughs> my next guest is our. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Yeah! <laughs> well, how do you think it went? I think it went very well. I think it went very well too. I was very, I was, I was, uh, you know, I was cautious at first. I was a little scared. Were you? Well, I was because I thought, you know, the tension between Scotland and England that would somehow manifest itself, you know, here in the new world. <laughs> Wait a minute, that sounds an awful lot like old Jeff in there. I suppose there's still some Jeff floating around, is there? Yes, there's some little bits of Jeff inside. <laughs> I'm picking it up on my chip. I see. Well, we call them in the States fries. <laughs> <laughs> see what I did? See what I did there? Have you been in America long? No, not long. Mm. Long enough to be dubbed, I see. Yes. But I've learned something tonight. Have you? I've learned some new words. Yes, what are they? Boner. <laughs> Nipple. Nipple's a new word? Yes. I have none. Well, that Lesbian. Means... Lesbian? Oh, well, there's the... Yeah, well. It's a lesbian role right there. That's what they said. That's what they said when they come here. They're... One of guests. Is that near Skin Rash, Oklahoma? No, no, no. It, well, it depends on the individual lesbian involved, but I... I think that Skin Rash probably is... I bet you, I'll bet you there's a town in the United States called Skin Rash. Oh, I'm sure there is. Yes, yes, and I'll bet you that town has got a mayor. <laughs> mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma? Mayor Scratch... <laughs> and I bet you Mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma is going to get in touch with us. And he's going to say, why don't you bring the show to Skin Rash, Oklahoma? And we'll say, well, in a way, we've always really been there. <laughs> right, Jeff? Absolutely right. You did a fantastic job, buddy. Thank you so much. Say May I call you Craig? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Thank you, English Jeff. Say good night to the folks. Good night, everyone. Good night!
In fact, we have invited some celebrities to read from it. <laughs> Take a look. It's all right. It's a play. It's always nice. Always. Oh, nice it's to lovely to see you. I, I I like your haircut. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's very nice. Although I think the Italians did that first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they, they invented this. Yeah, right. yeah, the lovely Alfred Molina, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Watson, will you, um... Crikey, he's dead. <laughs> Questions abound. Who could do such a thing? How did they do it? And most importantly, where do I find a new assistant? <laughs> I, I also have a question. Has there been a murder? <laughs> I know you. You're Paul McCartney. No, no, I, I get that all the time. But let me guess who you are. Let's see. You have a British accent. You dress kind of weird. You're a dude. You're obviously Madonna. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm Sherlock Holmes. And that's elementary, my dear idiot. Whoa, Whoa. I remember you. You're Jessica Fletcher. The famous murder mystery writer who always asks the same annoying question. You mean, has there been a murder? Oh, oh Pashaw. Pashaw? Yes, it's an old Edwardian word. Pashaw. Pashaw? It means stop. Oh. If there's one thing I cannot tolerate, it's silliness. It's a load of naff faffing codswallop piddly poo. Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> an assistant. What about me? I need the work since my last book didn't sell very well. Here it is. Self-massage for dummies. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wrong book. Where is it? Here, hold on to this for a moment, would you? <laughs> what kind of detective equipment is this? Oh, this helps me solve the case of the missing man, if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you don't know what I mean, what I do is I like to... Oh, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> Now, I must solve this crime, and I can't have an assistant who keeps saying, Has there been a murder? Oh, fine, fine. I'm able to ask plenty of other questions, like, Has there been a death <laughs> by murder? That's poppycock. It's exactly the same thing. All right, all right. I promise I won't say it anymore. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yes. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cherie. Sorry, I thought I was in a musical. No. <laughs> Let's look at the clues. All right. First of all, a recently fired gun. Oh, that begs the question! Now, you say it and you're fired. I won't say it, I won't say it! <laughs> oh, God, blimey, get out, you, you, you're useless to me. Really? Useless? What if I told you I could prove this isn't a murder? It's a suicide! <laughs> Pish, tosh. I was doing a play on Broadway and I had my head shaved for about the best part of uh, six months. Really? And uh, everyone kept saying, do you think it'll ever come back? You, are you worried that it won't come back? See, that's, read... another, that's that age thing again. Oh, yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah. Well, I, I read a story that that's how Yul Brynner ended up sort of bald, because he, he shaved his head for a movie role, yeah. and then he got some illness or something. He got some virus or something. Well, that, that's, then, that's the clue. And then his hair didn't come back. Boy, oh, that's it's the illness, not the shaving at all. Well, exactly, right. exactly. So I, was, I oh, did yeah. that with my downstairs hair. <laughs> When it ceased to what, what, what when, 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 when it, it ceased to amuse me, Alfred. <laughs> it no longer amused me. I teased it into many styles and then I shaved it off. Uh, I, I, that must hurt. Does, does that hurt? It must hurt. That. What, must shaving hurt. off your downstairs it hair? It must hurt. Yeah, but it hurts in an also yeah. Bastille Day oh, way. Yeah, yeah. You're very, you're very, you're very, you're very, you're very happy about the Bastille Day. I, I think it's great. I think it's great because it means that people all around the world can, can legitimately indulge in really bad French accents. You know. Are you implying my French accent isn't completely authentic? Not I am so <laughs> insulted. <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. No, not at all, not at all. No, but I, I, that's why I was glad when France got knocked out of the World Cup. Because it, 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 it meant we could all start going around going... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the Molinas from, then? The Molinas, uh, my dad was uh, Spanish from Madrid. Oh, and right. my mother was uh, Italian. Ooh, from no, Torino. Fiery. Yes, fiery. Very, very, yeah, my house, it was like the third act of Aida. Wow. It was like, 
yeah. A lot of screaming, a lot of shouting. Yeah, but know. very good food. Very good, very yeah. good food. Very yeah, good yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I was a big fat kid because I, I, I used to eat so much. I was just a big fat kid for absolutely no reason. <laughs> <laughs> just because you were Scottish. I think, I, you know, when I think back to it, I didn't really eat that much. I was just fat. Oh, no, we had loads. It seems terribly unfair. I was like, I, oh, I, no, I, I nothing for me. I got, I got, I actually got beaten up in school once for, for, for turning up at school with an avocado pear in my lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, what's that? Yeah, what's that? Is what's that, that some kind of Nazi fruit? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. What's that, you Italian puff? Yeah, yeah. You know. Really? No, because no, my dad used to, my, my dad was a, a, a waiter in, in a restaurant and, and they used to, you know, one of the perks of the job was anything that was left over that couldn't be used, they would, he would take home. So, you know, he would come home, like, you know, with little things wrapped up and I came back with these, a whole bunch of avocado pears and, and I actually liked avocado. So yeah, I, I, I like avocado I, too. I took one to school the next day in my lunchbox. And uh, they beat you, you know, up for it. I got, I got, yeah, I got smacked around for it. And no, you see, the thing is, that's the English for you. Well, in, in, in Scotland too, that would be the same thing. If I brought in an avocado or some such device like a <laughs> banana or an <laughs> orange, it would be like, who do you think you are, <laughs> lording it over us with your citrus? <laughs> Yeah, no, I remember that. Man. Yeah, no, 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 and they ask you why you come here. Do you? The best. He's, he's the, the best. best. He's the best actor <laughs> in the in the world. In the world, he is the best actor in the world. No, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> he's the best actor in the world. Oh. <laughs> he stars in Matador, which premieres July the fifteenth on the El Rey Network. Uh, take a look at this. Well, I see what I tell you. Oh. <laughs> Alfred Molina, everybody! Alfred Molina. Pleasure to see you, it's so Mr. Nice to, nice to I haven't see you seen too. you in, in such a long time. A couple of years. You're kidding, is yeah, that long? Yeah, a couple of years. Yeah. Good grief. Well, you look yeah. well. I thought maybe I'd said something. <laughs> or not. <laughs> not on this show. <laughs> I think you're right. I like your, your suit looks very thank nice. You, thank it's very you. Dis, you dis, distinguished. Well, I like to dress up for your show because I think you deserve it. Well, thanks very much indeed. I, I re and I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, I came, I, I came on once with a, sh with a, I came on once with a short sleeve shirt and a kind of like a woolly vest thing. And you, you took the crack out of me. So oh, uh, <laughs> I thought that's, that's not going to happen again. Well, no, and well, I'm glad to see you've, <laughs> you've dressed appropriately tonight, and I, and I hope the court appearance goes well yeah, too. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is actually my, this is actually my probation suit. Well, it's, it's very good. Uh, you, you look well. Have you been doing a lot of uh, keep fit or something? No, no, I've lost a little bit of weight, and I saw that clip, and I, th I thought. Big chubby cheeks. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, but, you know, I've, I've been trying to lose. You know, I'm, I'm sort of, you know, I'm 61 now. I've got to try. Stop it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I got. I want to stay. I want to be. I want to be alive for. You know, I want to dance at my grandkids' weddings. You know what I mean? So. Right. Do you do you dance a lot? No, I dance terribly. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's every grandfather's duty to really embarrass their grandkids. Well, yes. I, it, it, uh, first of all, as a parent and then a grandparent, you really want to kind of. <laughs> Yeah, I want, I want to be like, come on, girl, come on, let's get out, come on, don't yeah. you? Yeah. And also, what I'm looking forward to in my dotage is being really filthy, and then people go, oh, that's adorable. That's you know, like, like <laughs> smell my finger. <laughs> like, oh, granddad. Yeah. Oh. I used to do that in my 20s, though. Yeah, you know, I did too. <laughs> yeah, I know, you did it to me. I see where I so, um, I, I like this. Uh, now, this show, Matador, it's about uh, bull, bull fighting. No, 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 it's nothing to do with bullfighting. It's nothing fighting. to do with bullfighting. It's, uh, hiya. I love it. Yeah, hey, baby. I like the, it's, um... I didn't know you knew each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we go back a long way. Detectives Club. Oh, hey, I know you. You're Paul McCartney. No! Time. You must be new here. Mm. No, I'm Jessica Fletcher. Oh, yes. The best selling murder mystery author. Yes, and the most famous detective around here. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. That is I, Sherlock Holmes. I've never heard of you. Yes, well, I've heard of you. In every case, you always ask the same ridiculous question. You mean, has it been a murder? <laughs> Oh, 
Poppycock, everyone knows the only appropriate query is, is this a case of homicide? <laughs> well, that's just what I say, except you sounded more gay. Mm. Fish posh, I'm very manly. Chip chip. <laughs> Whatever that means. Chip chip. That's what they gave me, is no, all I've got. Chip chip is fine. That's fine. Not gay at all, chip chip. Uh, all right, anyway, Holmes, if that's your real name, mm. I can outsource. <laughs> In a murder case any time, Sherlock Holmes. You're on, Mrs. Fletcher. <coughs> oh, what's that sound? Has there been a murder? No, you nincompoop. The gentleman was just clearing his throat. Oh, oh my, he's down. Oh. Is this a case of homicide? Oh, no, 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 no. Has there been a murder? No. No one has been murdered. This isn't a case of homicide. I was just picking up a napkin. You know, I'm beginning to think that the two of you don't belong in the Great Detectives Club. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. That's the smallest part I've ever seen. Yes. I don't think you have to be in the union for this one. <laughs> Good. Good God, Mrs. Fletcher. Yes. My brandy glass is empty. <gasps> May I have another one? Yes, yes, me too. But, what about him? Oh, by all means, get in one as well. Yes, yes, he'll fancy a drink after he wakes up from his nap. Nap? Yes. Can't you see he's dead? 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 Oh, my. my. Has this is a case of homicide. No. Homicide. No. Homicide. No. Let's look at the... Murder. Homicide. Let's look at the clues. Okay. Is that you touching me? Or no? Yes. Uh... He's bald. Yes, he is bald. He, he's in a chair. Mm, it's Thursday. Uh, I just farted. <gasps> the waiter what did it. it. Damn, you got me. Oh. Yeah. I'll just have your assistant Watson uh, arrest me. All right, take the gun with you. You got it. <laughs> well, I hope you've learned something today, Mrs. Fletcher. On the contrary. Arch, that, 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 and then it'll work. That's and then Americans will be like, okay, yeah. that's a game. Yeah. Yeah. Have you noticed? But it's, it's starting to happen already because when a goal is scored, yeah. the, time, the, the, the length of time that they take to celebrate that goal is getting longer. Yeah, longer. it's getting longer. But, you know, when, when, I, when I was a kid, it was like, you know, the player would score, spit, and then run back and start. Yeah, no, it's like, <laughs> boom, now like scratch yeah. the nuts, and then <laughs> off you go, yeah. <laughs> Now it's like they're running around, they're doing dance moves, they're, you know... Yeah, that'll stop, though, because that, that, that was in the NFL and they made them stop doing it. Did they? Oh, yeah, Why the they? NFL, Why? there used Why? to be, like, a touchdown and then it was, like, moonwalking. Why did they stop and, it? Uh, I don't know, I think it was getting... Uh, what was the problem with it? Uh, Taking too long? Yeah, I think it... No, it's not that. I mean, American football, we got all day, you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is it, do you do you watch the yeah, NFL? I, I, I'm, no, not NFL. No, I, American football. I, I can't get into it. I, I don't. I don't understand how the game works. I can't understand baseball either. <laughs> oh, don't pity me. Don't pity. Me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a complicated game. <laughs> no, that guy hits it. These people run around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like, but I've been to a few sporting events, which I, love. I mean, I love, I love the, uh, I love the event. I love the, you know, the. the Baseball for me is the one that I think doesn't translate well to TV. I think it's better to, uh, to go there. But the football, I like watching football on TV. The thing I haven't done, which I'd love to do, is go and see a live basketball match game. Well, you'd like to do that. Yeah, you have uh, the opportunity to do that in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah. 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 But I we don't know to, who to support. Um, well, I would go with uh, whoever's winning. Yeah. Uh, that'll make you a true Los Angelino. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whoever's, whoever's when, winning. I, when I first came to live in LA, the Clippers were regarded as this kind of terrible team. That's right, I remember that. But now they're doing well, right? They're doing quite well? Yes. Uh, Apart from certain the whole, area, yeah, yeah, not other areas. <laughs> it's, uh, and the Lakers... Mm. But, they, uh, not, not but good. they'll, you know, it'll all... <laughs> Hakuna Matata, the circle of life, however it is. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Alfred Moyer. <laughs> Someone's done up. You know, we'll see. Oh, we're back. We're back. So we were just uh, talking about stuff, you know, things yeah. and that. Yeah, it was quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, better knock that in the head right yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Can't, have, can't have any of that. Yeah, yeah. Have you been back to the old country recently? No, yes, yes, oh, I really? went, yes. I went back. Uh, I went back in uh, in February, uh, end of February, beginning of March. Yeah, uh, what did you do there then? Just spent some time with my grandkids and. You have grandchildren, really? I do. Yeah, I've got uh, Alfie's ten and uh, Layla's eight. He's going to be eleven this year. He's going to be eight and then eleven. New That's world. <laughs> Wait a minute. That sounds an awful lot like old Jeff in there. I suppose there's still some Jeff floating around, is there? Yes, there's some little bits of Jeff inside. <laughs> I'm picking it up on my chip. I see. Well, we call them in the States fries. <laughs> see what I did? See what I did there? Have you been in America long? No, not long. Hmm. Long enough to be dubbed, I see. Yes. <laughs> but I've learned something tonight. Have you? I've learned some new words. Yes, what are they? Boner. <laughs> Nipple. Nipple's a new word? Yes. I have none. <laughs> well, Lesbian. Means... Lesbian? Oh, well, there's the... Yeah, well. It's <laughs> a lesbian role right there. That's what they said. That's what they said when they come here. They're... One of guests. Is that near Skin Rash, Oklahoma? No, no, no. It, well, it depends on the individual lesbian involved, but I... I think that Skin Rash probably is... I'll bet you, I'll bet you there's a town in the United States called Skin Rash. Oh, I'm sure there is. Yes, yes, and I'll bet you that town has got a mayor. <laughs> mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma? Mayor Scratchit. <laughs> and I bet you Mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma is going to get in touch with us. And he's going to say, why don't you bring the show to Skin Rash, Oklahoma? And we'll say, well, in a way, we've always really been there. <laughs> right, Jeff? Absolutely right. You did a fantastic job, buddy. Thank you so much. Say May I to... call you Craig? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Thank you, English Jeff. Say good night to the folks. Good night, everyone. Good night! In fact, we've invited some celebrities to read from it. <laughs> Take a look. And now Alfred Molina reads an excerpt from Linda Cunningham's Small Town Girl. Goodbye, darling, he said, picking up his bag. I love you. I love you too, Charles. Then he turned a grin on his face. Sorry to disappoint last night. <laughs> I was just exhausted. My first guest tonight is the most talented actor in the world. He will star in Red, opening at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles on August the 1st. Please welcome the splendid Alfred Molina, everybody. Alfred Molina. It's, um... I didn't know you knew each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we go back a long way. But both ends? Both ends. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an equal opportunity. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And no, it was. Um, it, it's about. It centres around a, a young soccer star who's playing for a, an, an, a team in LA, the LA Riot, and he's also a kind of agent for a government department. Oh wait, I, it's one of those two-job TV right, shows. Right, right, ah, right. yeah. And he's I play, like he's a that, but yeah. he's also a that. Yeah. Yes. I play the owner of the team, and I'm, oh, right. also, I'm also. And the uh, you a nefarious who, bad guy. Uh, you, you, I can tell you're a bad guy because oh, yeah. you said Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, my character's uh, you know from Mexico. Oh, well, that's. Have you ever been there? I have. I've been there several times. <laughs> I've been there several times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've, never, I've, I've never been to Japan. No, oh, I've been. Oh, I love Japan. I just I went know. recently. I know. Oh, I liked yeah. it very much. Not that I didn't like Mexico. Mexico was lovely too. It's just a completely different experience. Completely, yeah. completely different. Yeah, yeah. I, but nothing know. funny happens in Mexico after one o'clock in the morning, unless you're in Tijuana. <laughs> Depends on what you do. You know, <laughs> define funny. Uh, <laughs> it's also if you survive certain things, then yeah, they can be yeah. funny later on. Well, yeah. I, 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 went to, I went to shoot a movie there, and I remember being told, don't eat the food from the street vendors. And I did nothing but eat the food from the street vendors. I never got sick. It was wonderful. 
Really? What kind of food did you eat then? You no know, tacos and, you know, sort yeah, of... Yeah, I've done that in Tijuana oh, as well. It's yeah, fine. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I was I, in Mexico City, which was really amazing. I've never been there. I quite yeah. fancy oh, that. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What were we doing there? Another film? Doing a movie, yeah. See, that's yeah. the life of an actor. You see, you get to see the world but from, you know, film things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, from inside your trailer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well... <laughs> There is that. I mean, but don't you try and get out and get to oh, see yeah, part yeah. of it? Oh, yeah, I'm quite... I, th I, I like to think of myself as reasonably adventurous, I and mean, I'll go out and... I've heard you things. are, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's... Uh, I, I loved it, I loved it. I mean, I, I haven't... I don't travel so much now anymore, but it, it was... Uh, I, used to, I used to love going on location. Now, where, Molina, where are your... Uh... Spanish father, mm -hmm. Italian mother... Right. Born in England, raised in England, now a citizen of the United States. So that's... Uh, you're pretty much an American then, really. Pretty yeah, yeah. <laughs> Been here 20 years, so yeah, I think of myself as uh, American. So who do you, uh, are you watching the World Cup? Soccer? I'm torn, you can imagine. I love the World Cup, I'm a big soccer fan. I love it, but I, I'm, I'm sort of torn. I, I, I watch all my options dwindling away. Yeah, well, <laughs> Spain. Spain went no, first, then and England. England. Uh, you know, the USA, I don't, know if they're, I don't know if they're still in or not. I think they might still be. I think most people in America don't know if they're in or not. Yeah. <laughs> So it's, uh, you know, but it's... I like another. watching people in L.A. pretending to know about soccer. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked it when that guy uh, kicked the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was really... Are you, are you a hairy downstairs gentleman? Um, well... <laughs> in the, um, in, in the Chappie Garden area, yes. Yes, oh, yes, yeah. yes reasonably. <laughs> but, um, uh, I'm start I've started to go grey. I've noticed a little snow in the basement myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I made a terrible mistake. I made, I made a terrible. You didn't die. No, no, I made a terrible mistake. I I allowed myself one moment of vanity, and I decided to maybe pluck out this one grey hair. Are you insane? It. <laughs> I've never known pain like that. That's. That's pain which men I are thought, not built for. I thought right? I'd taken my scrotum with it. Yeah. It was like, ah, it was awful. <laughs> it was awful. <clears throat> I think another Peabody's on the way, <laughs> don't you think? I'm, I, hope, I hope I can contribute oh, to that. Oh, you that can. One. Now, have you been? I haven't seen you. You've been this good, play man, and yeah. you achieved your... That's, that's right, yeah. How's that play doing it, it's, it, We did well. We did it in London and New York, and we're going to be doing it next summer at the taper here in... Uh, here in, in Los, Los Angeles? Angeles? Yeah. What, may I suggest something? I mean, I know you're a very good actor and everything, but can I suggest maybe something, you know, do something else for a little bit, mix it up a little bit? Well, I have been hoping to uh, re you know, reprise a character that I was very, very fond of. Ah, you... what you, Here? Yes. Oh, that yes. would be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That we used to play uh, Sherlock Holmes, didn't That's you? right. You played right. Sherlock Holmes. I was and Sherlock I was, Holmes, uh, and you were whoever the hell Ms. you wanted Marple? to be. Was I Miss Marple? Miss Marple, that's uh, right. Yeah, I was or Paul McCartney. Um, I can't remember. Uh, they both kind of look the same. <laughs> have you ever met Angela Lansbury? Oh, yes, I have. I've worked with her. Really? Yeah, she's, she's ex surprisingly she, tall. Isn't yeah, she? she's very tall. She played my mum, and right. she was, uh, and she's, she's got a bit of a potty mouth. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I wouldn't have thought... She likes to talk dirty. Do you know who else is a little bit like that, surprisingly? Julie Andrews. Dame Julie Andrews. Really? Oh, she's lovely. She's like, oh, dear, how lovely to see you. It's so I think this is lovely hair. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you, even cuss words like that coming out of Julie Andrews, you go, that's classy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> no, but she's great, Angela. She's great fun. Yeah? She, she, you should have her on the show. I would love she's to have her on the show, but I think it. I might have ticked her off a bit oh, by saying no, she no, like Paul McCartney. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you're more, you should be more worried about how Paul McCartney feels. Oh, no, I tell you, <laughs> I, I was actually, I was presenting at the Grammys one year, a couple of years ago, and I walked out to present this award to uh, Katy Perry, it was, and, and the, uh, it was that she had a song called I Kissed a Girl. And uh, just before, uh, our manager came up to me and said, by the way, Katy's not really a lesbian. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> he went, all right. And, I, and then I went out, and I went out to present the award uh, to Katy Perry, and in the front row at the Grammys, Sir Paul McCartney. And he's looking at me, and I'm thinking... Giving you the BDI? He hates me. Oh. <laughs> he's clearly, you know, he watches the show when he's with uh, President uh, Obama and Michelle. That's right, that's right. He's like... Uh, You've stirred up a bit of a hornet's nest yeah, now. Yeah, good, yeah, good. There'll, there'll be all sorts of... <laughs> <laughs> no, come and do it. I said, no, sorry. No, no, you can't. No. You, you should do Fallon's show. He's good.
Yeah, he's, yeah, he is, I've, yeah, I've watched him his show. Yeah, he's good. He's good. No, but if they ask me, I have to, I have to check with Craig. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm saying it's fine. <laughs> okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, very no, much. no, you're all right. Oh, you do, do a Jimmy show. Yeah, yeah it's in right. New York though. You have to go to New York. That's all right. I went to New York recently to do a talk show, what and one? I flew all the way there. One of the early morning shows. Regis. Uh, no, no, no. Another one. earlier than that, and I was on for a minute and tw I was on for two minutes. I flew all the way there. Oh. how long did it take you? I was exhausted. <laughs> 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 At least you get a solid ten minutes here. Yeah, well, you know. it's over, though. Value for money. No, it's over. It's Is done it? now. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks very much. Well, here, here do you want to uh, go out on a quick uh, blow? Why not? All right. <laughs> All right. If you oh, there you go. You got a fresh one. Oh, there. I got a fresh one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. All right. Unwrap it. Okay. Slowly, slowly. All right. Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three. I saw the time we got half a million. <laughs> Alfred Molina, everybody. Could you? That's a lovely suit you're wearing. Thank you very Did much. Did you just walk straight from that clip right onto the show? Yes, yes, I, I changed my tie and yeah. put a comb through my hair. Yeah, it's nice. And uh, yes. Wait a minute, you're English again. You I'm were English American again, in the yeah. clip, and now you've become English again. I keep telling you, this is my real accent. I do the English for the chicks. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> I, uh, are you excited about the royal wedding? You're English. I'd rather eat my own elbows. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't go. I thought I, you'd be I, invited. No, no. I, I, I did an interview recently, and this, this woman said, uh, So, the Royal Wedding's at the end of April. Are you going to be there? And I said, No. Are you going to be watching? No. Are you interested? No. And then she looked into the camera and went, Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like... It was, like, it, was the, it, 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 the, it was like the interview had just hit a wall. I, like, listen, I have been right. there, girlfriend. I say here some nights, they come out here, I'm like, hey, I got nothing. Say the name of your product. What's that coming to go? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, it's hard. He made that great crack about uh, about looking. He, he came on with a big moustache. Oh, he did, yeah. Uh, he said know. he looked like a, he looked like a, one of the Mario brothers. Right, yeah, he did as well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you grow a moustache from time to time. I do. I'm growing one right now as right. we speak. Is it for a, it's, for a... It's for a role. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but it's not coming through. And, and also, I'm totally grey now. My beard is totally grey. So when I, when I grow my beard, yeah. it really does look as if I'm dyeing my hair. <laughs> but your hair is not dyed. No, my hair isn't dyed. But, but, it's but like, your beard, that's yeah, weird. What about weird. downstairs? Uh, grey, no. normal colour, no. or what? The... Uh... <laughs> Blonde hair, black moustache, great brown bushy beard. Ginger down below. Ginger yeah. down below. Yeah. Good lord. Good lord. <laughs> I thought I was. I, I, I thought I was going to take that secret to the grave, but. No. Uh, <laughs> Good lord. Well, you know that's uh, that's a, a, a nude that I'd quite like to see. Actually, <laughs> we're, we're, we're we're out of time here. Do you want a you want a mouth organ, an awkward pause, or a big cash prize? Well, the, this. This is new. This is a new innovation. I'd like to try the big cash prize. Well, it's something we put in. I, th I think you'll enjoy it. It's, uh... I've got a taxi waiting outside. I might need some cash. <laughs> a taxi in LA? Yeah. Expensive. Did you get a DUI? <laughs> no, but I caught something off the back seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Well, just take me car to get yeah. off. All, All right. right. What time is it? Show us, Demon! For the big cash Fifty American dollars in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign in it, just like the burglars use. Here's how, how you can win. You can either uh, answer a question, or you can guess what's in my box. Uh, what, how that works is I imagine a box in my head, and uh, I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. And you try and guess what it is. If you're right, Jeff will tell us, and if you're wrong, something awful will happen to you. I mean, even worse than being on this show. I'm going to try and guess what's in, in my, your box. In my box? 
There's no need. I'm sorry, Ned, I'll just take my car to get off. Hold me pint. Yeah, hold me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ned. Uh, I'm imagining a box. Jeff, do you have the box? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, what is in my box? <laughs> it's only an hour-long show. I know. Uh, <laughs> something to do with an island. <laughs> Can he be more specific? <laughs> um, uh, begins with a P, maybe? A per, 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 per. <laughs> Penis eye? No, I, I did go to a strip club once when I was I was in my late teens. Oh. And it was uh, it was that and it was a terribly kind of risque, dangerous thing to do. And you gotta remember strip clubs in London yeah, yeah. aren't like I'm taking my card again uh, off yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold me pint. Yeah, yeah, hold me. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just put me pint down. All right. <laughs> it was not the kind of showgirl Las Vegas type thing at all. No, it was, no, it was. No. It was really unbelievably sleazy, and yeah. I and I. And I, and, I remember, and, and I remember kind of like getting outrageously sort of overpriced drinks and... In Soho, oh, in London, oh, they used to, that, that's where it was, in first, Soho. Yeah, the first time I ever went to London from Scotland, I thought, ooh, I'll go into a strip club and see a naked lady. And I went in, and this guy came over and he went, oh, yeah, you buying a girl a drink? And I went, uh, yeah, OK. Uh, he said, she wants a bottle of champagne. <laughs> I went, all right. And he said... That's 200 quid. <laughs> I went, I've only got 50 quid. He went, that's 50 quid, get out. <laughs> I never even saw a naked lady, oh, didn't meet the girl. I don't think there was any girls there, it was just that guy. <laughs> they were total, total rip-off joints. <laughs> terrible, terrible. It's not like that now, though, of course. No, now it's kind of, you know, three-course three, you know, three course dinners and yeah. uh, well, you can't, ballet parking. You can't eat at a strip club. Well, you can. No, 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 it because doesn't... that means you've given up on both food and sex. <laughs> 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 You're like, oh, yeah. Oh, um, have you tried the shrimp? Yeah. No, no. Anyway, you know, I, I couldn't go now. But are there, are there old-fashioned strip clubs like they used to be? I mean, I mean, it's all like, it's all like lap dancing and poles and stuff now. Well, I, I mean, I'm sure you can still go to places where people take their clothes off or... Uh, well, I'll, I'll do it if you give me a couple of... Uh, <laughs> what do you, I'll buy you a very expensive bottle of yeah, champagne. I, I would like a bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we have to uh, take a break. Do we? Well, we don't have to, but it's the whole capitalism, commercials... Uh, yeah, 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 I understand. Uh, you and I can continue to talk, but, you know, uh, the, the network survives on these things. Absolutely. And yes. as you know, uh, CBS is uh, almost broke. <laughs> 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 They've got a lot of money. Yeah, they, they do. They, they don't leave it here, obviously, but they... Uh... <laughs> Are you incredibly wealthy? Um, no. No. But I, I hope to be one day. Seems fair. I live in hope. <laughs> do you want to uh, do the commercial thing? Sure. What are we advertising? <laughs> <coughs> or just announce the break? Yeah, well, well you could just say, uh, here's a bunch of excellent products. <laughs> here's a bunch of excellent products for your selection and consideration. <laughs> they weren't looking at his face. They were just looking at where he kept his wallet. <laughs> Just waiting for the for the little brown wallet to come out, and you know. He, that's, he, I think it's a good idea. Do you bribe your own grandchildren? Well, I will do. Four. Yeah, I will yeah, do. I will. I, I'm I, I'm completely determined to, to support. I mean, I wasn't allowed to do it with my own daughters. So I'll do right. it with my grandchildren. Yeah, no, it's it's difficult when I do it with my son. I find myself saying all the things that I thought I'd never say, like you know, well, we'll you know, not under my roof. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's seven, so you know, I got to be tough. <laughs> This isn't a hotel. Yeah, that's right. Not a hotel. Not under my roof. It's not going to be happening. So you and your pot-smoking yeah. buddies will have to go somewhere else. The one I, the, the one I remember was the, the, the great admonition from my parents. I remember was, was uh, what did your last one die of? Oh yeah, yeah. Because they they mean about your servant. Yeah, yeah, about yeah, about yeah, leaving yeah. the year. What did yeah, your last one? things lying around. What did your last <laughs> servant die of? I didn't have a servant. I've lived here my whole life. You know I don't have a servant. <laughs> <laughs> no. When did you come over here? What age were you? Uh, here? I was 40 when I came over to the States wow. the first time, yeah. yeah. So, so you've been uh, here, what, two years now? Uh, thank you, yeah. yes, yes. 
<laughs> You're very kind. I am. Uh, there's 50 bucks in it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Granddad. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I, and it was... But I'd, I'd, been, I'd been wanting to come over here since I was a teenager. I mean, I, when I was a teenager, I was completely obsessed with uh, American music, American Me too. clothes, I cars, you know, the yeah. whole thing. And, and I, I, I... It was... A, the, I feel now as if my whole life was just a process of saving up the money to get here. To get here, yeah. Well, you <laughs> were Elvis. Me till I was 40. El Elvis was, yeah. a, was, a, was a big part of it yeah, for me as well. Yeah, I loved and Elvis. all Elvis, not just thin young Elvis, but fat older Elvis as yeah, well. Yeah. I, I, all of it. I like all of it. <laughs> so did a lot of people. Yeah, I know. It's very popular. Yeah. But, I, you know, but, but at school, there was this bit. I, I was. I, had the, I was very kind of particular about the music I listened to, and it had to be. I was very interested, kind of like American music offer on American labels, and the big sort of thing was looking for the original labels, you know, the right. imports like Atlantic and Chess and Stax and all those. Well, they don't have that yeah. anymore. The kids just download it on the I iPods. They I don't know. even go to a store. Well, I've started doing that now. Yeah, well, me. Too. You've I've got become, an iPod. We. Well, yeah, I've become a complete. I mean, I'm. I, I'm like. I'm, I've become such a cliche. Really? I, I'm sort of, you know, at two o'clock in the morning, I can't sleep, or if I've come back from work and I can't sleep, I, I'm, I'm in my front of my little laptop, and I'm, like, YouTubing, and I'm sort of like, you know... <laughs> and next thing I know, I'm, I, I've spent five hours watching someone, you know, sort of cut their own hair. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and, so, and my, my first reaction is, why the hell am I watching this? This is the most ridiculous... <laughs> and then I'm into it two hours, I'm sort of going... <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally, I can't take my eyes off it's it. It's something about it, isn't it? With it? You know, you get out, my son loves the uh, animals behaving in an odd manner. Yeah. Uh, you know, so, <laughs> like, love, you know, he's all, the, all these animals run like cats going, yeah. oh, hey, and all that. <laughs> yeah. And he laughs his ass off, and I'm like, oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Has he been replaced by Croatian jive? What? No, that's jive talk in England. Oh, <laughs> Jive talk in England. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a tiny. It's not bit... worth the scrutiny, Craig. No. <laughs> I'm just saying. It sounds. <laughs> it sounds a tiny You've bit. You've got much better things to do. All right, all right, all right. All right. Well, you know what time it is, don't you? Yes, it's time for emails and tweets. Yes, that's exactly right. Do the thing. <laughs> This is uh, from Chuck in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You ever been to Tulsa, Oklahoma? I've never been to Tulsa, Oklahoma, no. <laughs> you say that like you've been to another Tulsa that wasn't in Oklahoma. No, Tulsa, it sounds like some sort of skin rash. I've, that's a completely different place. Have you ever been to Skin Rash, Oklahoma? <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. No, that made me smile inwardly. Oh, I see. Yeah, that, that doesn't help that much. Uh... All right, this is from Chuck. He says, uh, Hi, Craig and Jeff. My wife and I are looking to buy a pet, and we can only afford one. She wants a cat. I want a dog. How can we compromise? Jeff, cat or a dog person? What do you think? Dog, every time. Really? What yes. kind of dog do you like? One with four legs. <laughs> And you don't like cats at all, or you just like them slightly less than dogs? I find cats impulsive. <laughs> you can trust a dog. Well, it depends. What, you trust it to do what? You can't, you can't trust it to drive your kids to school. No, but it can fetch and carry. And a cat won't? No. What will a cat do, then? Ever tried telling a cat what to do? Yeah. Liar. <laughs> Ever been to Skin Rash, Oklahoma? Have you? In a way. <laughs> I, I feel a certain tension between us. Cut me some slack, it's my first day. No, all right, yeah, fair enough. All right, this is from uh, Adrian in Chattanooga, Tennessee. You ever been to Tennessee? You got a little place there I like to go swim and get naked, throw pizza people? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. a southern thing, isn't it? What, getting naked and throwing beads at people? Yes, I understand. No, no, no. It, it's a people thing, man. Mm. People like to get naked and throw beads at people and go swimming. 
I can't. Hair's growing back. My hair's growing back. The last time short. you were here, it was. It, you it was shaved very, it off. I looked, I looked a bit like a toilet brush, but it's, it's kind of grown a little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't have said toilet brush, but I was alarmed because, you know, you've got quite, and I mean this in the most loving way possible, quite firm eyebrows. You've got very kind of... <laughs> you've got, you know, you've got eyebrows that, that kind of say, I'm here That's and right. I'm not yeah. going anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, wife, my wife told me once, she said, you know, you know in that scene you did, when you, your eyes, your eyebrows, they started doing like a little tango across your forehead. Yeah. Yeah, try and calm down. Do you, now, do your eyebrows work independently from the rest of your body, or do you do you sometimes find they just like fly off into some kind of? It depends on the invitation. Depends on what's on, you know. What's right. on, but I, mean, I can I can raise one eyebrow like that, yeah. but I can't raise I both. can't raise the other one. <laughs> you know, what? I'm a what? I'm a one. I'm a what? I'm a monobrow actor. I, I, I can't do both. No, I can raise one eyebrow, as I will show you. Yeah. Right. That's that's, can you raise the other one though? No, I can't. And but what's interesting thing is something weird happens in my testicles when I raise my eyebrow. Like I, yeah, you know when the doctor says turn your head and cough. Yes. That's yes. the thing that happens in my testicles when I raise one eyebrow. <laughs> and every time I do it in the doctor's, he's like, I've never seen that before. I'm like, well, that's it's just who I am, doc. <laughs> Well, I think that, well, the weird thing is when you raised your eyebrows, something started happening in my You testicles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't explain that. Yeah, well, I think, I think you can explain it. I think you know exactly what that is. <laughs> hey, uh, in the film, that's the, that's the sexy werewolf you're acting with right yeah, there. Yeah, Taylor Lautner. Absolutely. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful young man. Yeah, it was yeah. great fun. It was great, you know, is he as hairy in uh, real life or...? No. No, I, I'm, I'm not sure if he take. I, he tends to... He, I think he takes his shirt off sort of quite a lot in the Twilight Yeah. Movie. I don't remember if he takes his shirt off in our movie. He may not. Now, having said that, that might actually mean that, you know, half the audience aren't going to bother to No, out. no, I think... But, I've got a feeling that the way that, you know, the young gentleman's working at the moment, it'll be in his contract, shirt off. Shirt off, uh, Shirt yeah, off yeah. in the movie. Yeah, but I don't think... He's not a hirsute man. He's not, oh, uh, you know, he's, no, he's no. not like a, you know, sort of... Hairy. He's not hairy. Right, yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you a hairy downstairs gentleman? Um, well... <laughs> In the uh, in the Chappie Garden area, yes, yes, uh, yes, yeah, yeah reasonably. But um, I'm st I've started to go grey. I've noticed a little snow in the basement myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I made a terrible mistake. I made, I made a terrible. You didn't die. No, no, I made a terrible mistake. I I allowed myself one moment of vanity, and I decided to maybe pluck out this one grey hair. Are you insane? It <laughs> I've never known pain like that. Oh, the case of the missing man, if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, what I do is I like to... No, that's enough, it. that's enough. <laughs> now, I must solve this crime, and I can't have an assistant who keeps saying, has there been a murder? Oh, fine, fine, I'm able to ask plenty of other questions, like, has there been a death <laughs> by murder? <laughs> That's poppycock. It's exactly the same thing. All oh, right, all right. I promise I won't say it anymore. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yes. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cherie. Sorry, I thought I was in a musical. No. <laughs> Let's look at the clues. All right. First of all, a recently fired gun. Oh, that begs the question. Now, you say it and you're fired. I won't say it. I won't say it. <laughs> oh, God, blimey. Get out. You're useless to me. Really? Useless? What if I told you I could prove this isn't a murder? It's a suicide! <laughs> Pish, tosh, bish, bosh, bosh. What I'm saying is you couldn't possibly prove that. Really? Really? Well, consider all the clues. That lamp. Mm. It's July. Mm. I've got back fat. And... <laughs> there's a suicide note. Look! <laughs> look, look at that! Yes, I didn't like it here. So I killed myself. Yes! <laughs> that's... that's really... I can remember. Stupid, isn't it? <laughs> yes? Ooh la la! Stupid, but yes. also brilliant. Yes, you're right! It's stupid, but brilliant! It's like it came all the way round! 
Look, the other side. Yes. It's like if it's, it's like the Tootsie Fruitsie. Between stupid and brilliant. Yes, yes. Or to put it another way, it's an SBB. It, SBB? Stupid but, but brilliant. brilliant. Yes. Oh, very good. I like when you say things and then stop saying them and just say the first letters of them. Yes, it's an old... Uh, it's, uh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It's a way of getting out of trouble. Yes. I think it's a BX. Five, three, O, oh, T, one. I suppose the B's for bollocks. Yes, yes absolutely. Right. You know, when I think about it, we make an amazing tea. Yes. Is that your hand on my buttocks? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it's not him. No, uh, no, we can still work together. No, we can't work together. Oh, well, make your mind no, up. We, I don't know where we're going We can't here. work together because of... Oh, I know. Sexual tension. No. <laughs> no, it's elementary, my dear she-male. I don't find... <laughs> I don't find you attractive. Really? Not according to your pipe? <laughs> yes, I... I suppose I am attracted a... in a little bit. I've never seen my pipe quite so straight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think it's ambitiously large as well. Yes. Not sure if I should put it in my mouth now. <laughs> well, I'm not putting it in mine! <laughs> You know, we'll see. Oh, we're back. We're back. So we were just uh, talking about stuff, you know, things yeah. and that. Yeah, it was quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, better knock that in the head right yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Can't have, can't have any of that. Yeah, yeah. Have you been back to the old country recently? No, yes. Yes, oh, I, really? yes I went back. Uh, I went back in, uh, in February, uh, end of February, beginning of March. Yeah, uh, what did you do there, though? Just spent some time with my grandkids. and. You, you have know, grandchildren, really? I do, yeah. I've got uh, Alfie's 10 and uh, Layla's 8. He's going to be 11 this year. He's going to be 8 and then 11? No, no, no. Le <laughs> Alfie's going to be 11. Layla, my granddaughter, is... is oh, right, OK. Well, that, that's... Uh, I mean, you must, you must moisturise or something, because you look very well. <laughs> really? no, all that, you know, all that stuff our parents told us about pills and liquor? Yeah. It's not true. They really work. <laughs> CBS <Kirk>. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> the views expressed by Alfred Molina in no way reflect the CBS Corporation <laughs> or in any of its affiliates, for legal reasons, of course. Anyway, we're, uh, we're out of time. Are we? Really? So yeah, 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 that's it, I guess, yeah. Fancy an awkward pause? Why not? All right. Well, well, Fred Molina's. He's he, awesome. He comes back on the show. Does he? Yeah, I don't think he has an Oscar though. No. But he's good though. He is awfully good. He is very good. Yeah, I nearly made out with him once. Really? In a sketch, yeah. Did you? He was playing Sherlock Holmes and I was playing Angela Lansbury. <laughs> did you really? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. Have you got that sketch? Like, I'd right. love to. That. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's uh, he comes in and he's playing old Sherlock Holmes, and I was playing Angela Lansbury, who, you know, for the purposes of what we do here, bears a striking resemblance to Sir Paul McCartney. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of had to be there, right, is yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I nearly made out with him. Her lips were like this close. Oh, isn't he lovely? He is, yeah, but when he gets that close, then I started to think, oh, maybe not that lovely. He's awfully tall. <laughs> Very tall, Very tall and, uh, and large. Lovely minty breath, though. Yes. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't notice that. But... No, he was playing your dad, for God's mm, sake. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. He's a hugger, though. He gives. He is a hugger. Hugs. Yeah, he's, he's friend, hugger. friendly, friendly, a little too friendly. <laughs> With me, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're out of time. I, I'm sure you've stirred up a bit of a hornet's nest yeah, now. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. There'll, there'll be all sorts of... <laughs> <laughs> no, come and do Agatha now, sorry. No, no, you can't. No. You, you should do Fallon's show. He's good. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. He yeah, I've, no, I've watched him his show. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's good. good. He's lovely, good. No, but yeah. if they ask me, I have, to, I have to check with Craig. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm saying it. it's fine. <laughs> okay, thank yeah, you very no, much. No, you're all right. Oh, you do, do a Jimmy show. Yeah. yeah it's in right. New York, though. You have to go to New York. That's all right. I went to New York recently to do a talk show, what and one? I flew all the way there, one of the early morning shows. Regis. Uh, no, no, no. Another one. Earlier than that. 
And I was on for a minute and tw I was on for two minutes. I flew all the way there. Oh. How long did it take you to get... I was exhausted. At least you get a solid ten minutes here. Yeah, well, you know. it's over, though. Value for money. No, it's over. It's Is done it? now. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks very much. Well, here, here do you want to uh, go out on a quick uh, blow? Why not? All right. <laughs> Uh, if you oh, there you go. You got a fresh one. Oh, right? I got a fresh one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I say. Yeah. All right. Unwrap it. Okay. Slowly, slowly. All right. Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three. I saw the time we got half a million. suit you're wearing. Thank you very Did much. Did you just walk straight from that clip right onto the show? Yes, yes, I I changed my tie and yeah. put a comb through my hair. Yeah, it's nice. And uh, yes. Wait a minute, you're English again. You I'm were English American again, in the yeah. clip and now you've become English again. I keep telling you, this is my real accent. I do the English for the chicks. That's pretty good. But, uh, that is pretty good. <laughs> I, uh, are you excited about the royal wedding? You're English. I'd rather eat my own elbows, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't go. I thought I, you'd be I, invited. No, no. I, I, I did an interview recently, and this, this woman said, uh, so, the Royal Wedding's at the end of April. Are you going to be there? And I said, no. Are you going to be watching? No. Are you interested? No. And then she looked into the camera and went, ah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like... It was, like, it, was the, it, 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 the, it was like the interview had just hit a wall. I, listen, I have been right. there, girlfriend. I say here some nights, they come out here, I'm like, hey, I got nothing. Say the name of your product. What's that coming to go? <laughs> but, well, luckily, that's who we've got solving crimes, then. <laughs> but no, you've got me now. Well, no, right. well okay. no, I think it's quite interesting, though, that people like that, because I'm, I'm rather, you know, I've gotten to the age now where I, I'm impressed and I kind of like cops. It used to be, you know, when I was younger, I was not that impressed with them, and I didn't like them at all. Eh? <laughs> they kept chasing me around and trying to get me to explain what I was doing. <laughs> you didn't get into a lot of trouble when you were younger. No, I didn't. I, the, the only bit of trouble I got, I think I may have told you the story, I got, the only bit of trouble I got into was when I got stopped by a policeman in this country. Oh. Uh, but I did get arrested at a demonstration once when I was very young. What were you demonstrating I, against? I, 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 I actually can't remember. Really? It, but it, but we, we, very important though, yeah, I'll it, bet. It, yeah. at, the time, yeah. at the time, it must have been crucial. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, we sat down outside 10 Downing Street, you know, where the Prime Minister lives, and, yeah. and uh, we all got arrested. I got picked. And Jill, my wife, told me that she was trying to find out where I was, and she was phoning my stepson while she was watching TV, and there was a clip of me getting arrested. Wow. And apparently she was saying, Adam, I'm looking... I don't know where Fred... Oh, don't worry, I think I found him. <laughs> <laughs> and there was me kind of going... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> How dare you, I'm outraged about this thing I can no longer remember. Why? I am so outraged. But the next day, but we, we, had to, we had to go to court the next morning. We had to be arraigned at uh, court the next morning to pay a fine. Right. And this judge, who was clearly bored out of his mind, and we were all taken out, so we all got up. And I noticed the people in front of me, if they... If they made a political statement in the, the dock, they got a bigger fine. Oh. So me, the coward that I am, I, I decided to be absolutely quiet. So I, I said nothing. And the judge said, do you have anything to say? And I said, no. And then he said, what do you do for a living? And I said, I'm an actor. Really? Successful? <laughs> I said, not really. Well, 15 pounds fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. And I thought, uh, you know, he was like, it was somehow, you know, oh, well, he can't afford it. Give yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> it's a terribly bad business for the uh, for the actors when they when it's not working, oh, isn't no, it, dear? No, it's very sad. That was that. Uh, that was the. Uh, that was. The, uh, but I was on a stage, you know, on the dock. I stood up. I had a light. And you still didn't see anything, which showed anything, remarkable but was, restraint. But I, I was think. dying, uh, yeah, dying yeah. to break into song. My Lord, I would like to say <laughs> on this day, as we are gathered here. <laughs> I'd have still been in jail if they'd have put me up there. 
Did you do a lot of uh, theatre, regional theatre and stuff when you were starting out? Isn't it? I was, yeah, I did. I did loads of stuff. Yeah, all over the place. I toured and you know did shows. I worked for the children's theatre company. I did. We did. We did like potted versions of Shakespeare for ten-year-old kids in school. Why would you do Shakespeare for a ten-year-old? You go. Well, you do. To be or not to be. To be. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we did plays where we cut out all the serious stuff, and we just did the kind of the funny, the comedy stuff. All right, okay. And it was all very over the top, and you know, yeah, not very, not very good. But you know, the, but we do four shows a day. You know, it's like exhausting. Yeah, I know. Is it? I'm not. Yeah, there's something you're not allowed to say. Like you know, uh, Spider-Man fans get very upset if you say Doctopus or uh, Doctor. Oh, I don't know. Doctor. <laughs> There's one Doct of them you're not allowed to say. Octopus. I don't Octopus, Dr. Octopus. Or I, I, well, I think at the time, uh, people used to say, uh, people used to say, Doc Ock. Doc Ock. Yeah, and everyone kind of went, no, that, does, that sounds ugly, sounds ugly, but that's, 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 that's what, that became very Well, I, you don't want a character with eight legs who's trying to kill all the good people in the movie ugly in any way, do you? I mean, no, you know, he's he be was nice. ugly, he was he's, a terrifying he's, villain. He's got to be nice and attractive and thoughtful and... Uh... See, I, I like villains that are nice and attractive They're, and well, all, the, all the best ones are. Yes. All the best ones are. They Hannibal Lecter, he's always attractive. He was attractive, he was seductive, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. All, the, yeah all, the, all the best villains are the ones that kind of, in a way, seduce you in some way or another. Other. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using the word in its wider context. Yeah, I like it though. It's, <laughs> it is, have you ever done that on the stage? What, playing villains? Yeah, like a smooth, villains. A smooth villain. Once or on twice, once yeah. or twice. In what? What would I know? Uh, nothing you would have known. Oh, well, come on, try me. Because you were over here. Right. And I was over there doing it in, in Britain. people in a garage. No, come on. You do the big theatres in Britain, <laughs> yeah, don't you? The yeah. National yeah. Theatre and all do that stuff? the National stuff? Theatre, yeah. 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 But it's, uh, you know, it's, it's fun. Villains that have got a kind of... A kind of attraction. I mean, all the best villains are attractive. Hey, you know what they did? You know the, the great Shakespearean villain, uh, Richard III? Didn't they? Yeah, they dug found, him up. They found his skeleton. Under a car park. Under a car park. Unbelievable. It was his actual skeleton of Richard III, and he didn't have a hump. No. Didn't but, have but, a hump. But he did have slight... A penis? A penis. Yes, of course, yeah. He had a penis. Yeah. But he did have slight curvature of the spine, apparently. Did he really? Yeah, yeah. So, he, so there's a little element of truth in it. And they did this mock-up of his face. Yeah. And he looked... Just Pretty like ordinary, a, yeah. Just like I a know, dude, really. I, know. Yeah. I, I kept thinking, who's gonna? I, I, I saw that. I saw that uh, that computerized image of his face, and I suddenly kept started thinking, I wonder who's gonna play him. And I looked at, it, I thought, it's Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon would be Matt an Damon's excellent Shakespearean villain. Matt, Matt Damon is gonna play Richard the <laughs> First. <laughs> Why not? In the movie? Why not? But isn't it sad when they find you under a bleeding car park? It's kind of well, you know, you know, he shouldn't have done that thing. That's totally it. It, it. It's a gangster's ending. Isn't well, it? it's kind totally. of a little bit. Totally. Yeah. Oh, totally. I don't know. When were you back then? Uh, the in Britain. Oh, the last time I was there was around about this time. Yeah, this time last year I did a uh, movie for the BBC. BBC. Yeah, that's where the money is. That's all. <laughs> 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 That's what they think. Oh, oh yes. man. Yeah, they're worse than CBS, those bastards, I tell you. The BBC, you're working for the BBC. Well, uh, how much can you afford to pay us? Uh, <laughs> exactly. They're really yes. like that. It right? won't be much, Alfred, but there'll be some marvellous kudos for you. Yeah, there'll be kudos <laughs> for you. And there'll be great snacks and tea. There'll Lots be of snacks. plenty of yeah. tea yeah. throughout the production. Oh, he's not Italian. He looks very dark. He could play Italian, but he's not Italian. He doesn't speak a word. Right. And the director said that he had to have actors who spoke Italian. So he turned up and at, and at some point at the interview, the director said, so, you speak Italian? And he said, yeah, say something. And he started doing this. <laughs> and he got the job. Of course! That's Italian! He got the job. <laughs> Hey, I find, I find the best thing to do when you go to a country is, if you can't speak their language, imitate what they sound like speaking English and they understand you perfectly. <laughs> so if you go to Italy, you go, hey, what's the coming to go, everybody? Everybody's fine. <laughs> Nobody hates you at all if you do that. It's lovely. Now, have you been back to Britain much recently? No, no, I brought all the family over here for oh, Christmas. Oh, yeah, and uh, and yeah. are they still here? No, 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 they, no I got rid of them after yes. two weeks. Had to no, go. We, it, was, it was great. I, you know, the grandkids and everything, it was great fun. But like I've forgotten how noisy and how busy and energetic grandkids are. Oh, I went, we went. We went for a drive. Um, I've I, I got to say this. We went for a drive through. My, my daughter wanted to see all the nice houses in Bel Air. Right. And so we went for a drive, and we saw this fantastic house with this beautiful wall around two sides, all covered in bougainvillea. 
And my, my, my daughter said, wow, Dad, that's a beautiful, beautiful built, you know, beautiful property. And then about two minutes later, from the back of the car, my grandson says... What age is he? Uh, he's five. OK. And I quote, Mummy, I didn't say it out loud, but my face was saying, look at that wall. <laughs> You know, just when you said that, your mouth went a bit funny. And, uh, <laughs> and there was a kind of bee sound. Oh, so I kind of yeah. missed it. Yeah, no, they do it's that. It's a great now. story. Yeah, great no, story. it's a great story. Yeah, and my daughter's. Only, and my daughter's. Only you could tell it on television. <laughs> <laughs> ah, never mind. The mark. Oh, it was great. No, so I, had a, I had a lovely, lovely time with them. So it yeah. was, uh, but it was, I know they've gone back. They've gone back now. Have you yeah. got empty nest syndrome? A little bit. The first yeah. day, it was weird, weird, weird. It was odd. I, I, I wasn't expecting that. Well, what do you do? Do you potter around in your garden, maybe, you know, uh, trimming your plants? No, no, my wife does that. My, my wife's the gardener. Well, what do you do yeah. then? I you sit, just sit around not I, trimming I, them? No, I sit around with the latest box set of whatever I've got on my lap. Oh, what, chocolates or DVDs? Mm. DVDs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I... <laughs> I, I like a nice box of chocolates. Do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do. I love that. Love you, a box you, of you chocolates. Like if you're looking for a gift idea for okay, me, okay, that's it. That's very, yeah. Yeah. that's very you French. Say, you know, what what should we get, Craig? Get him a, a bois du chocolat. Yeah. Mais oui, mais... Higher the summer. Were you here very last very week when it got to yeah, 120 I was here. or I something? Believe it, yeah. 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 I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Very, I, very burst into flames. Did you really? <laughs> Kind of flaming yeah, in a yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I understand. I Do mean, you have the same problem? I, everybody thinks I'm gay because of my accent. <laughs> yeah, I think people. I think people make the assumption that if you sound vaguely European, yeah, you're gay. Yeah, and it's interesting because nine times out of ten, you probably are. Probably are. Yeah. <laughs> But the thing is, that 1% that we belong to, You're right. we kind of get, mm -mm. we're all, mm, mm. Yeah. you know, we're all, we're all tarred with the same brush, you know what I'm saying? But, it, but the worst Have thing is... Have you ever been tarred by a brush? Never been tarred by a brush, no. it, 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 But I've been brushed by a tar. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's almost the gayest thing I've ever said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost the almost. gayest thing you've ever almost. said. Almost. Why is almost. it funny to pretend to be gay sometimes? I don't. It's just. It's just. What, it is funny. It's yeah. Fun, it is funny. I, I don't know what it is because I mean I in no way mean disrespect to the gay community no, by me doing neither. that. I, I, no, I really well, don't. But it's because they've got the best jokes. They've got the best music. They've got yeah. the best clothes. You know. Yeah, it's true. And the furniture's neat. And everything. For, you know, yeah, everything. Yeah, everything's great. <laughs> Best parades. I mean, if you look at the history of parades, like Gay Pride Parade versus, you know, Shriners Parade. Oh, I'd, I'd rather go to the Gay Pride Parade. Yeah, I'd, yeah, be, I'd be like, um, I'm here, not really yeah. queer, but I enjoy myself. I, when we got our when we got our house renovated, I was showing some friends around all, everything that we'd done, and yeah. we had these new bathrooms put in, and I had this nice, which I thought was like a really nice bathroom, and th these friends of mine came to see who were gay, and they walked into the bathroom, they went, and they looked at the bathroom, and they said, oh. This is a gay man's dream. <laughs> and I, I was really flattered. Yes! That, that, means, I thought, you're... that means I've got pretty good taste. <laughs> and I found myself going, really? <laughs> <laughs> I was delighted. So you've had your house renovated then? I had my house renovated, yeah. This is like yeah. a talk show. It's, it's just like, you know, it's almost just like a talk show. Yeah, right. I used to watch talk shows and people come on and say, oh yeah, you just had your house renovated. And you actually have. But in those days, they all used to smoke. Smoke, yes. That was the I saw, I saw some old reruns of, of some early talk shows from like right. the, the, the 60s. And it was amazing. People like lighting up and smoking. Oh, doing lines of coke off <laughs> the tail. Like, so, uh, tell me about this <laughs> Easy Rider thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds yeah. like a good movie. <laughs> 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 oh, bring! I, I miss that. Yeah, I miss yeah, those I days. Miss those I miss those days. Nowadays, it's now all... you've got now you've got a snake for a cup. Yeah, yeah. Now you've got to drink out of a waxed snake. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of waxed snakes, um... not lately. <laughs> Nipple. <laughs> Nipples a new word? Yes, I have none. <laughs> Well, lesbian. Means, lesbian? Oh, well, there's, there's, yeah, well. It's a lesbian role right there. That's what they said. That's what they said when they come here. They're... Uh, one of guests. 
Is that near Skin Rash, Oklahoma? No, no, no. It, well, it depends on the individual lesbian involved, but I... <laughs> I think that skin rash probably is. I bet you. I'll bet you there's a town in the United States called Skin Rash. Oh, I'm sure there is. Yes, yes, and I'll bet you that town has got a mayor. <laughs> mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash. Oklahoma. Mayor Scratch. <laughs> and I bet you Mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma, is going to get in touch with us, <laughs> and he's going to say, "Why don't you bring the show to Skin Rash, o Oklahoma?" And we'll say, "Well, in a way, we've always really been there." <laughs> Right, Jeff? Absolutely right. You did a fantastic job, buddy. Thank you so much. Say May I call you Craig? <laughs> yeah, all right. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, English Jeff. Say goodnight to the folks. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. In fact, we've invited some celebrities to read from it. Take a look. And now, Alfred Molina reads an excerpt from Linda Cunningham's Small Town Girl. Goodbye, darling, he said, picking up his bag. I love you. I love you too, Charles. Then he turned a grin on his face. Sorry to disappoint last night. I was just... Exhausted. My first guest tonight is the most talented actor in the world. He will star in Red, opening at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles on August the 1st. Please welcome the splendid Alfred Molina, everybody. Alfred Molina. <laughs> It's lovely to see you, Alfred, it's the strange. greatest actor in the world. I know, I know. That's another, that's another $50 well spent, I think. <laughs> hey, uh, happy birthday, it's your birthday. Yes, it's my birthday. It's, it's his yes. birthday, everyone. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you. I would, I would sing happy birthday to you, but you can't sing that song. It's very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah, I, 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 I never realised that. I thought it was one of those things that you could just sing any no, other time. No, no, it's a very expensive song. If, you, if we were to sing that, it would cost... Ooh, uh, $100,000. Oh, uh, well, what's not to like? Yes, I like nudes. I like a nude cat. on a landscape. Uh, that's what I like. <laughs> nude on a landscape. With a couple of fluffy bunnies yeah, on the one yeah, side yeah, there. Yeah. Fluffy know, bunnies. And fluffy then something bunnies. gambling across the yeah, field. Like a waggy-taily dog. Ooh, a waggy-taily dog, yeah. You know, something like Spending. that. You know. Yeah, waggy-taily dog, naked lady. Fluffy bunnies up here. Or gentlemen. Or, it doesn't matter. Do, uh, doesn't uh, matter. It, well, it depends what you're doing. Equal opportunity nudes <laughs> yeah. all across the landscape. Yeah, uh, I like like a bit of nudity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But not as much as you would think. You know when people say... <laughs> I've... You know, for a split second there, I thought this was going to be like a serious conversation. Yeah, well, it is. <laughs> it is in a way, because, you know, like, nudity, I think, is it's better if you kind of just, like, you know, leave a bit... Not to the... To the imagination. Well, not so much to the imagination. It's more kind of leave the... To the sensor. <laughs> No, <laughs> like if you're na like if I'm naked, there's parts of me that look all right, and other parts of me that don't look so great. We'll so be it, the judge of that. Well, no. I, <laughs> all I'm saying is, if I can have drape things over certain areas, and oh, then, yeah. you know, and leave, you know, the fog clears around Penis Island, then I think that's fine. Right. Right. Yeah, you could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T tasteful nudity. Tasteful yeah, nudity. Something. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you ever been to a strip club? I have. Yes. Did you perform? No, I didn't perform. Right. I got. I got. <laughs> No, I, 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 I was, I was stopped. Luckily, I almost did. I wanted. No, I, I did go to a strip club once when I was, I was in my late teens. Oh. And it was, uh, it was that, and it was a terribly kind of risque, dangerous thing to do. And you got to remember, strip clubs in London. Yeah, yeah. Aren't like. I'm taking my card again, off now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, right. Hold me pint. Yeah, yeah, hold me. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just put me pint down. Yeah. <laughs> it was not the kind of showgirl Las Vegas type thing at all. No, it was, no, it no. was. It was really unbelievably sleazy. And yeah. I, and I, 
And I, and, I remember, and, and I remember kind of getting outrageously sort of overpriced drinks. and In Soho, oh, in London. Oh, they, that, that's where it was, the in first, Soho. Yeah, the first time I ever went to London from Scotland, I thought, oh, I'll go into a strip club and see a naked lady. And I went in, and this guy came over and he went, oh, yeah, you buying a girl a drink? And I went, uh, yeah, OK. Uh, he said, she wants a bottle of champagne. <laughs> I went, all right. And he said... That's 200 quid. <laughs> I went, I've only got 50 quid. He went, that's 50 quid, get out. <laughs> I never even saw a naked lady, oh, didn't meet the girl. I don't think there was any girls there, it was just that guy. <laughs> they were total, total rip-off joints. <laughs> terrible, terrible. It's not like that now, though, of course. No, now it's kind of, you know, three-course three, three, you know, three course dinners and yeah. well, you ballet can't, parking. You can't eat at a strip club. Well, you can. No, 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 because, because that means you've given up on both food and sex. <laughs> <laughs>